Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of London's Burning. First, a warning. We aim to offend you. If we don't offend you or put you in an emotional sense of disability, then we have failed in our job, because we do literally aim to make this horrible, absolutely disgusting experience in every way we simply can. But it's simply set in game. Mostly. With that said, welcome to the Chronicle London's Burning, a story set in the city of Oxford about a group of vampires and kindred society reeling from the exodus and loss of London. And I've now got to the point where I've actually memorised that intro because that's not what's on my screen. We are joined this week by Isaac of the Hakata family of Clan Cappadocian, portrayed by Noscavian. Please do a rouse check to awaken from your torpor state. I clicked it twice. Typical it does this for you, Isaac. Mean mug it a little bit more and it'll roll. Let's see what happens if we go to the glorious... Oh, oh. Jesus. Yeah, your first okay, one was a hunger uh, game, so gain a hunger. Yep. The elegant and wonderful Camarilla Banu Hakim Blood Scholar, the sensational Cedra, portrayed by Ms. Hart. Please do a rouse check to wake him from your torpor state. Gain a hunger. The wonderful, gorgeous, and sexy Xavier Long, portrayed by Tina. Please do a rouse check to awaken from your torpor state. Wonderful. Last, but by no means least, always good to go out on a walk as long as there are no stairs involved. The Camarilla Bruja Armon, portrayed by Nitro Taipat. Please do a rouse check to awaken from your torpor state. You gain a hunger for interrupting me. Good. And mostly isn't hungry, he just had burgers. And of course we start this week in a place I haven't prepared. Because that's how it goes. There we go. We start this week in Pub Dread. Xavier has made a trip early in the night in order to find someone to feed on. The pub is modestly busy, and a few customers are milling around the bar. Xavier can tell which are kind, which are kindred, and takes a seat with a drink in front of him, or only for show, and to make him not stand out so much in the crowd. Did I ask for a feeding scene? I don't remember. <laughs> so I, you have me sitting at a booth? Mm -hmm. Table? Probably be like at a table. At Pub Dread? Mm hmm. I don't know how to take. I mean, it, all, literally, all of that was said just in the blurb you literally just heard, but we can repeat it yeah. if you like. Can, can, no, no. Uh, I'm repeating for myself. Is this considered her haven? Yeah. Am I welcome to feed here? Don't forget, you are Anarch. It's not like... Yeah, but Valtrus is a bitch. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's almost as if the storytellers put you in a tricky situation where you have to apply your brains and wits. I know! Fuck me! What the fuck? Um, that never happened. I look for what what would be considered the probably the, the rowdiest group Wits and awareness. Difficulty two, please. Three. Wonderful. Your eyes scan around the pub until you spy a particularly loud group of chavs sat there, mocking each other and drinking heavily. I get up and make my way over to one to them. Mm -hmm. um, let me ask this: 
Uh, could we make their table between mine and the bar? Basically, yeah. what I want to do is walk past, but intentionally accidentally bump into one of them. Yeah. You don't need to ask this thing. Just RP it out. Okay. Yeah. So so I, I walk by the table and I intentionally bump into one of them to make them spill their drink. What the fuck? Jesus Christ, man. I'm sorry. What? Oh, you're sorry. You're sorry. Oh, la da Look at you. He turns to his mates and they all start laughing and taking the piss out of you. Um, sorry, I'll take my drink and pour it down the front of him. You can have mine. They're just standing there, shocked. And then the rest of the group got this face like thunder on you as they start moving towards you. No, we're not going to do this. We can go outside. I'll turn God and walk. Goddamn right, we outside. will. All right. You. I'm fighting in this bar. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you, the chav you poured your drink on, and his two mates follow you outside. Is there... Can I walk away from the front of the building? Is there like a... Oh, yeah. Side? Yeah. Okay. I walk out there. We got a problem? Of course we got a bloody problem. I can't believe I'm... Use this language. Like, faggots like you pouring drinks on me? What do you think this is? Some kind of fucking wet t-shirt competition? Is that Actually, it? Yeah. You want... Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the way you... Pl it's so the way you play, is it? I don't know. It's very hard to think of how you can be abusive to a gay person when you've never actually done it. If you're such a big man, hit me. All right. Daddy, the moronic chav, as if there's any other kinds, just looks at you for a minute in bewilderment, clenches his fist, spins it back in the air, and takes a swing at you. How would you like to react? Dodge or punch? I have rapid reflexes. I don't know. Uh, this is for bullets and arrows. Never mm. mind. Uh, I'll hit him back. Kay. I won't even dodge. Strength brawl contest. Every time I'm in these situations. He takes a clumsy swing at you, spinning over and nearly topping himself forward, obviously under the uh, influence of intoxication. Taking advantage of this, you grab his arm, swing it out the way, and punch him squarely in the face. What's the other guy do? <laughs> He's just sort of sat there, sat, stood there, laughing in that dim-witted way. Come on. He walks towards you and then pushes you. Pushes me? Trust me, that's... Yeah, yeah. I cast Daunt. I know where it's at. Show me no, Daunt. Because it's a, it's a present power. It is free, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's free. Um, and I'll approach him. Kneel. Is that it? For now. Alright. It's not my name, you stupid twat. I hit him in the face and say kneel. Strength! Bro. He's not even going to try and dodge. I leave it. That's eight. That's eight, by the way. You clench your fist. Anger boiling up in front of you from having to deal with these pathetic little insects and their smart mouth. You lean back 
And as you take your swing forward, the beast inside of you comes forth. And you don't let back. You hit him with absolutely every single bit of physical strength you have, smashing his skull in and causing him to fall to the ground dead. Take a humanity uh, stick. Okay. And then we just got one back. <laughs> back to five. Um, oh, it's a stain. Never mind. Uh, you said he had one friend or two? There's another one left, yeah. Just one? Oh. The, I should, sorry, that was completely my fault. The other one's at the end of the alley, you know, making sure it's all safe, like. So there were two total? I just killed one? Yeah. Well, it's two I fighting. The up. There's another one at the end of the alley who's not involved. He's just well, looking around. There's two around. that I'm fighting. So there's yeah. one more? Yeah. I look at him and I just go. He's going to have to do a willpower check. Ah, difficulty three. Which he fails. He looks at his dead mate on the floor. Looks back at you. Turns. And then tries to run away from you. In complete panic. Probably pissing himself. Literally, as he goes. Ah... Uh. Do I use it now? Can can I use fleetness to grab him? Yeah. I'll grab him and try to hit him enough to knock him out. Strength. Bro. That's only going to be like difficulty two. You successfully grab him, restrain him, and hold him. You wanted to punch him as well, right? I wanted to knock him out, yeah. Can't have anybody witness me. Yeah, I'm going to say that's close enough to knock him out. You spin him round and punch him, managing to restrain yourself from hitting him with all of your might this time. He just sort of looks at you, goes cross-eyed, and then falls backward, knocking his head on the sidewalk. Or I will pavement. then, if they... The guy keeping uh, a lookout, if he's not looking, I will blink up next to him and then bite him. Do your feeding roll for me, please. Difficulty only two. Predator roll, right? Yeah. Four. In a moment's notice, you're standing in one spot, looking over the unconscious twat. Blink to the other spot. Grab the person from behind. And before he even understands what's going on, you sink your teeth into his flesh, tapping into the vein, and beginning to drink of his blood. You have enough time to seal I'll, the wound as well, if you so wish. Yeah, I will. I'll, have a, I'll like grab a hold of his hair, pull it back, feed, and then after I lick the wound, I will throw him on the ground and walk off. Okay, it's like two hunger, please. That went a lot better than the last time I had to fight a group of people. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> later on, a short while later, across town in the Coterie Domain, after Xavier's hunt, he realizes the time and hurries to the Coterie Domain in order to meet up with just Isaac, as he had something to discuss with him. He enters into the Coterie Domain, walks down into the office, and finds Isaac already sat there, waiting for him. You know, my night would be a lot easier if I learned how to feed like you, buddy. What? Like me? What do you mean? You don't hunt, you just drink out of a bag, right? Well, ideally, but when I don't have a bag one hand... Um, I need to hunt, and I'm not particularly adept at it. Not to mention, when I uh, deliver the, I suppose you'd call it the kiss, um, they scream in agony. Wonder why.
You're like a feeding. You're like a poisonous steak, snake, or steak. I'm no satite. Whatever that is. Was there something I could help you with, Xavier? <sighs> yeah. So you you remember our talk about the circulatory system, right? Ah, yes, I do. Yeah, there was a reason I asked about that. And uh, what would that reason be? I have reason to believe that one of my own is being kept against his will. By, by who? Camarilla. Ah, so the Camarilla is holding a member of the, uh, well, a member of the Anarx or a uh, Bruja? What do you mean by one of your own? Yes. Ah, I see. And you think I would be able to help with that? I don't know. Uh, what I'm curious about, you seem to know quite a bit about the circulatory system, and I need to start somewhere. I didn't know if you could get me in or get in yourself to kind of do some perusing around. I suspicion if they're they're holding this individual, they possibly could be drinking from him too. He's rather old. Well, well I am a customer. I do have a contact with the circulatory system. They supply me with blood from time to time as I need it. What do you think's best? In regards to what, reaching out to the circulatory system for what end? I mean, what do we do? Just walk in and start searching? Or do we ask people, hey, do you, would you possibly have something there of this? I don't know the word for describing fancy blood. Well, if um, we have any inquiries for uh, special or unique vintages of blood, the circulatory system would definitely be a place to reach out to. Um, so, but I suppose you want us to speak with the circulatory system to try to get information regarding, uh, would it be Elysium, their blood supplier? Yeah. Would be my guess. Uh, All right, look, well, I can, I can tell you, I think. I'm looking for the original keeper of Elysium. I see. So the original keeper of Elysium is being held at Elysium. I suppose that's not maybe too unusual. It would be sort of like someone trapped on uh, on neutral ground or trapped in an embassy and unable to leave. Um, going through the circulatory system, though, we may be able to find information. Well, undoubtedly, the circulatory system is supplying them blood. That They are the largest blood suppliers. However, they tend to have strong issues with confidentiality. I don't think they would willingly share any information we may ask. No, um, I, I have, guess I need a lead at the moment. Everything's speculative. It makes sense, for one, them to capture Francis and hold him against his will, and they now have control of Elysium. However, if he's there, they could spin it around and say he was here the whole time. He never left. Regarding the circulatory system, the only thing I could think of to give me a lead on if he is there or Elysium is inquiring if they have access to blood 
the blood of somebody as old as before the 1800s. Oh, you think they may be holding him there and harvesting his blood? That would be quite, uh, quite uh, an issue for sh- certainly. Um, I don't know if that's what they're doing, but I wouldn't hold it past him. If if you need more concrete information, I would suggest uh, reaching out to the Nosferatu. They tend to be the most apt information brokers in any area. Um, perhaps you may even have some anarch Nosferatu who would be sympathetic to your predicament or your concerns. Do you think if the anarch Nosferatu could help with this that they would have the person who asked me to do this would have went to them instead of me? I don't know. Why did the individual task you with the job? Why does anybody ask us to do anything? Maybe he or she couldn't be bothered with trying. Figured it's beneath them. They'll put it on somebody else to do the legwork, to figure out the problem, to fix it. There you go. I can certainly uh, inquiry to the circulatory system about uh, specific vintages of blood. Um, I can't guarantee I'll get the answer you're looking for. Um, But I believe the best place to start with this sort of information be with the Nosferatu. They are certainly masters of bartering information. Sure. I think I know that better than anybody. It's just forgive me for, you know, trusting the people that literally promoted back to Remagen. Oh, I never said you should trust them. Don't trust them. I know. But Isaac... They're not going to give me what I need without me giving them something back. I own enough people already. Let's try to avoid the Nosferatu. Well, perhaps you could offer, instead of being indebted, you could offer a job or a task, something simple that could be paid up front without it being held over your head. I'm already caught up in enough shit. I don't need more. Um, you hear a door aggressively open and the mon walks into the room. What does that sound like? Oh. Really need some WD-40 on that. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You still pissed off from last week? No. It's just, I don't know, doors, man. Oh, Seeker follows How in a moment later. Cedar falls in a moment later. I'm on. Stop breaking the goddamn doors. Uh, I'm just sitting at the bars. Sorry, Isaac. Oh, you're fine. I'm just. Uh, I'm just sitting at the bar. I shrug my shoulders. Ah, uh, Amon, Cedra, uh, welcome. How are you two doing this evening? I mean, it's another night. Nothing special yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh, wait. You're not final dead yet. There we go. There we go. I just asked him, uh, Isaac if he had any insight on being able to track down the guy I'm looking for. Oh, we're finally acting on that. No. Wait, which one? Keeper of Elysium. Oh, okay. Mercy comes in. Mercy comes in, looked at the door. Did you know your door is broken? And he takes a seat somewhere. This is why we can't have nice things. Am I interrupting? Do you need to come back in five minutes? 
No, nah, it's fine. You want to interrupt this? Yeah, it'll take a lot longer than five minutes. Um, no, no, it's no interruption. We were just uh, discussing a uh, missing person, and I suggested that a Nosferatu may have valuable information. That's all. Xavier can Missing shed person? more light on it if he wishes. A person or a vampire or something else? Nothing that concerns you. Very well. For now. Trust me, you would cause way more issues than I need right now if you were involved in this. Way more. Way more than you need. Yeah, that's true. I have you know I can be pretty stealthy sometimes. At times. That's not the problem. The problem is getting caught. Amon can be stealthy. Look what the fuck he does. Sorry, I don't know. two days away from retirement. He says that. Dolores comes down, stops in the doorway, looks at the door, shakes her head, and walks up to Xavier. Armand! Wait. <laughs> Armand, uh, you got a call upstairs? Uh, someone called Daniel? Says he has some information about your daughter? I, l I look at Amon. Is she confusing us again? No, this one's mine, and I go upstairs to the phone. The Sorry, you, yes. you all look the yeah, same to me. Or wherever the phone's at, I go to it. You know, I was the one that off that that was a proponent proponent to get you a nice room upstairs, and you still can't get my name right. Jim. That your one, name is not a mom. Is Jim. Now go fetch me some flavor aid. Do you, do you want to go in the office together? No. Oh. I'm good, thank you. Dolores looks a little disappointed and shuffles off back upstairs. I'm on going to the Where phone look, look, look. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm going. going to wherever. It's fine. I was going to say, Mercy just looks, just watches the entertainment, in, 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 trying to get the, a feel for the um, dynamic of this group. Xavier will walk over to the safe in the office and start to pull out his guns. Okay. Just to set a mood. Going on an yeah, adventure? I've... Don't we always? Yeah, I've. Uh... I've gone to the phone, by the way. You pick up the phone, and on the other end is Daniel. <laughs> hey, hey, Daniel, um, what, can, what you got for I've, me? I got some information for you. Uh, you said to look out for a small child missing report. Yeah. We've just had a witness come by, say they saw something on. Well, they say they saw something. I couldn't get details on the report, but I thought you might want to go and talk to the witness. They're on Headley Way. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. That's all I got Thanks, for you. Daniel. It's all right. I just hang up. And he hangs. Yeah, he hangs up as well. Men! I, wherever the... I don't know where the phone's at upstairs, downstairs. I go back to the Gregory. So, well... This one would have been in the off the bar. There would have been a phone in the bar too, so you could have answered. Downstairs, not upstairs. Okay. All of our stuff is done downstairs. Okay. I go back to the code ring, or remain with the code ring, whatever the deal is, and uh, I just say that um, I got a lead on the kid. What kid? My my kid. You remember? No, he doesn't remember. No. He's just coming to grips with yeah. it. Well, um, that's good news that you have a lead him on. There, there was a witness that said that they saw something, and we can go talk to him if we want. To, talk to them if we want to. They said that uh, he said that they were on 
Headley Rain? Headley Road. Headley Road. So, unless you all have other plans, that's where I'm headed tonight. I know how well you talk, so maybe I should come along. Thanks. No offense. Anybody else? Yeah, we'll all go, but Cedra has a point. We don't all need to go inside. All we do is intimidate people to where they just scream and explode. True. Exploded anyone? Only melted them. No, but... Technically, I didn't explode the guy either. I was being facetious. I know. I I won't be melting anyone this time. Yes, please. No, we can stay in the car while you two go in and find out what you need to know. Yeah, we've got the brand and everything, so. I was going to say, I, was, I wouldn't mind seeing someone melt one just to see what it was like. Just, 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 just to know what you guys are talking about, but okay. You remember that I... scene in... I don't know, my brain's not working. I can't think of an off-brand radio. That, that was last sweet. Time. Oh. Are we all going to stand around and tell the, uh, the Lupin Smith? what we can do? Yeah, okay. What about that scene in Cyber Policeman? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's I get terrifying. Oh, wait, it's the found car. <laughs> the found boat. Cart. Found cart. Oh, oh, okay. Well, arc, boat. Yeah, cart. Anyway, I head to the car. I follow. I'm assuming this is kind, so we probably should hit him early in the evening. Follow him up. Mm. Uh, Very well. Is there anything else, Xavier, before I head out as well? Nope. And I walk out the door. (laughs) Alrighty. Isaac will follow out and head to the car as well. You will head out. Get into Armand's car. And start driving off towards Headley Road. Is there anything you wish to discuss on your journey? I'm surprised Mercy hasn't asked any questions yet. He learned a lesson from last week. He started it. It's true. You all sit in a weird, awkward silence on the way to Hedney Road. You arrive at the house. Why did you see it? Park up on the side of the road, and the street is well lit. The main road is in constant use. You can see the house that you were told about. It has a light on currently in the downstairs front room. I... Uh, after we park, I just point at the the house with the lights on, and I say, "That's where I was told to meet them." And we're just interviewing a witness, so yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. So I don't know if we want to go, just send one in, or no, go in. You're the dad. She could be a private detective. private detective coat or your private detective top hat all private detectives have top hats brand no not for this it's fine okay Armon steps out of the car and heads towards the building he was told about wait I'm on yeah. Give me the keys just in case. All right. I'll huh. toss him the keys. The sexy dame in a trench coat gets out onto the rainy street wall. Yellow light illuminating the area. 
I'd seen women like this before. Often they come into my office. I knew that this meant one thing. Trouble. <laughs> well, see if you've always wanted to set a noir type atmosphere. You walk up to the door. I knock I just... before Amon has a chance to do anything. What's he gonna do with you, Dan? A few moments later, doors. a few moments later, the door is answered and you're greeted by a kind on the other side. You're not Uber Eats. Sorry, you're not Uber Eats. Um, sorry, um, I was told uh, about you from a detective. Um, I'm currently looking for my lost daughter. You better come in, then. You want to talk to my husband, Jerry. Okay, thanks. Thank you very much, ma'am. She steps aside, holding the door open for you and closes it gently behind you. She leads you into the front room. It's fairly messy. Not exactly well kept. But neither is it poor nor rich. She speaks to her husband and says, These two are there to talk to you. He stands up, greets you, and gestures to two seats for you. Um, thank you so much. I I wasn't really told any details, just that you had seen something recently. Yes, my wife Beth just said that you wanted to know about the child I saw. Yes. And your police officers? I, I'm no, I'm the a private father, detective. And I'm the father of the child. Says the man in the mask. <laughs> it's a bit strange, I have to say. I'm not I'm sure I believe you. I hold out my hand. I am Cedra, private detective. I am here to assist my customer in finding his daughter, but because of all of the danger surrounded by it, he prefers to stay anonymous. Charisma, persuasion, difficulty two, please. This and the medieval why. gloves are just for show. <laughs> this is why I didn't go inside because Isaac would just be like, but why not? And Xavier would be like, answer the question! <laughs> Jerry looks at Cedra and thinks to himself, gee, if looks could kill, this dame would have shot me as soon as she came in. I've not seen a woman like this for many years. Even my own wife hadn't no. He looks at you quizzically. Reluctantly, eventually, though, he'll say, okay, well, I guess it won't do any harm to tell you. I mean, what do you want to know? I'm not sure how much help I can um, be. Uh, we're following up on a lead that you saw a child in suspicious circumstances? Yeah, it was... You know, traveling home from work, I called over to use a phone because only a moron uses a phone and drives at the same time. And uh, I, I saw these very suspiciously well-dressed men in a car pull up. One of them got out and just abducted this girl as she was walking home. I assumed that she was walking home. She was dressed up in a school uniform. How long ago was this? Uh, this was just a few hours ago. Where at? Uh, Sandfield Road. They got out. Well, one of them got out. Just picked her up. She was fighting, but it was weird because they were not bothered. I mean, I know she's only a child, but she was still fighting and they had no problems whatsoever. Just picking her up and throwing her in the back of their car 
And then they just drove off. Which direction did they drive? The opposite way to me. Um... I'm actually going to ask him if he can kind of describe what the girl looked like. And can I use that to compare to what I saw in the pictures when... I didn't really get a very good look at her. I mean, I'm not the sort of person that stares at schoolgirls. I was more interested in the guy who picked her up and just threw her in the back of the fucking car. Then what did he look like? Very well-dressed. You know, you know how people... Try to look like a MF MF five agent, like Jane Blunt. Yeah, they were dressed up like that, but I could tell that these weren't expensive suits they were wearing. You know, these these were kind of something from just a regular department store that I can't think of a generic name of. JC's. So they were trying to. Oh, nice. So they were trying to look more impressive than they were. I, I guess so. Maybe they thought it would be some way to integrate or something like that. Maybe they didn't. I mean, as far as I know, I was the only one who saw this. It wasn't exactly daylight. It wasn't nighttime either. It was really weird. Uh, do you know about how old the child was? Probably early teens, I would say. At least, you know, I mean, and, at most early teens. And what kind of vehicle did you say that they were driving? Just a van? It was a car with black tinted windows. Okay. What color was the car? Blue. I hear that's the most common. After other colors. Do you know what type of car it was? I'm not a gearhead. Do you remember the girl's hair color? Armon, do I remember the girl's hair color? Um, actually, I did break that in. That is in the. She was wearing a hat. And... <laughs> <laughs> what did the hat look like? Like a hat. I don't know. I didn't really pay much attention to the hat. It was just some Top baseball hat? cap. Cowboy hat? Baseball cap? There we go. Color? No, she was white. Okay. That I'm going to hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> you should have just said what color her hair was. What was she made out of? Sand. What brand was her school uniform? <laughs> Coswell's. Well, um, I really appreciate the help that you've given us. Um, I hope it does help. I, I don't think I can think of any other questions that you'd be able to answer. You want to know what color her socks were? Yes. Navy blue. <laughs> you couldn't get Me a good look at what she looks like. <laughs> but you know what color her socks were. They, I don't know exactly. They looked like they just, you know, she ha she needed to pull her socks up. So they, they could have been knee high. Um. Just straying into weird territory. Let's let's move away from that. I was trying to. Cedra <laughs> pulls a piece of paper out of her pocket, writes the phone number of the bar, pub on it, 
hands it to him and says, if you can think of anything else, anything we might have missed, uh, you can call this place. They're kind of a switchboard for me. Uh, and just ask for Cedra. This is a pop. How do you know the number of our pub? It was the most popular pub in Oxford at one point. Everyone knows. We should come back sometime. Drinks on the house? If you have more information. I'm sure I could make something up. That doesn't help. It's like a true American. Let's just say if we find this kid, you can have drinks on the house. No, get off my property! <laughs> well, I hope it helps. Alright, CJ. I guess it's time to go check this place out. Thank you very much for your information. Take care out there. I mean, it's, it's night time and... I mean... Robo cyber cop here looks like he'd be all right, but you look after yourself. She can handle it. You gotta around. be tough in my profession. I give a as we leave. I give a slight bow to him and then the wife because I assume she opens the door for us again to leave. Just as you're turning to go, you can hear Beth say. Bowed. What a weirdo. What'd she say? He fucking bowed. What a weirdo. Huh. <laughs> Thank Pandora's you again for your time, man. man. And you just hear the door click onto the latch and close <laughs> behind you as you walk out onto the dry, slightly windy street. <laughs> On the walk back to the car, um, I just kind of, I, I just say out loud, well, I don't think it's particularly my kid, because my kid's been missing for weeks, but if there's a kid being kidnapped, we got it might be a pattern, it might lead us to the right place. How old's your kid? About the same age as what he said. She's nine, about nine, nine and a half. Are you all in the car now? Probably would have made it back by now. Relay all the information we were given. Uh, I see. Perhaps, perhaps it is connected. Maybe there's some sort of serial kidnapper going around. The one note that I kind of latched onto the most was he said it wasn't quite dark out yet. So I don't know if we're involved with maybe some thin bloods or non kindred at all, or. Well, I mean, or ghouls. I guess you can't rule out ghouls. The TV show I watched before I was turned called Sad. It was about a guy that ended up seeing his little daughter's imaginary friend but they had a <laughs> I don't know why you just serial kidnapper for kids that just made me think of that I suppose it could be non kindred related as well I guess it's a possibility do ghouls have special strength that a, a teenage kid could um, fight out night fight off yeah it's yeah, called they're an adult well, yeah, we're talking a freaking girl. Oh, they put up a fight, trust me. Well, ghouls can walk in the day, and it is possible for them to have some degree of supernatural strength. The problem here is we can't link this to whether or not they're targeting kids. They're targeting Amon. Because you seem to don't think you seem to not think this was your child, which sure, but a well, teen. I mean, my kid's been missing for okay. weeks now. Follow, this happened. Follow a couple me hours here. Ago. Teen, dad disappeared. 
ran away from home, got kidnapped. Yeah, but it, would it really have taken a couple of weeks for her to get kidnapped? I think that's irrelevant yeah, she... when she got kidnapped. We also don't know where kidnapping her from. Or who it was. It may not have been ghouls either. Based on the info you gave us, it's all pretty circumstantial. Circumstantial. We don't know. We don't have a license plate number. We, the opposite way I came from. What? What? What way is that? Well, I would say Bye. if we go straight to Samfield Road, we don't turn around and drive back to the house. That would be the opposite way. Yeah, safe to assume. We'd go look for a sign of struggle, see if she dropped anything. Yeah. Although I feel like the police would have looked, although they are, they are lazy. Are the police involved? Well, but sometimes there are things that we can see that they can't. Well, the police are involved in finding my kid, but they don't seem to be making much uh, progress. That's what leads so, me to believe that they think this is a one-time thing and not a serial kidnapper because, trust me, as someone that's had a child disappear, the more they go missing, the more the cops care. Mm -hmm. Just a one-off, you end up doing shit yourself. Trust me, I know. Here's keys back. Oh, right. Thanks. <laughs> I start the car. This might be a superfluous question, but anything you want to talk about on your drive? Apparently we don't talk while Amon's driving, so we don't distract him. Would you like to fiddle with the radio? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Um, yeah, we put on the theme song oh. from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. The Bad Sorry. Dream Before Holiday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Bad Dream. This is Spooky Day. This is Spooky Day. Spooky Day. Spooky Day. Spooky Day. Spooky Day. <laughs> In the city we call home. Oh, I quite enjoy this song. It has such a upbeat melody. <laughs> That's it. That's as genius as this game gets. Let's just call it in here. <laughs> Have a good night. Tip your waiter. <laughs> We're getting better at this, actually. <laughs> Let's just move you along. <laughs> the car carries what's on. This, what's this? Would be the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> the fuck is everywhere. <laughs> That's just the theme song for our country. Oh, we've just had, for we've had a week. We need this. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little slap happy. <laughs> the car carries on. Eventually, everyone's singing. We're all singing together. This is spooky time. This is spooky time. <laughs> and they pull up at Sadf Sandfield Road. They arrive in the place they were told about. The yellow sodium streetlights illuminate the cold and quiet street. Residents' cars are parked up along both sides of the road, leaving the tarmac down the centre of the road. The only way to move forward like a parting in the sea. Eventually, the coterie are able to find a spot to leave their vehicle at the bottom of a long, shallow incline. Hey, uh, Mercy. I'm going to ask a question, and I'm not meaning to be disrespectful. Uh, 
eye on a dog. I don't know how close you guys are to dogs, but if you get the scent of something, can you track it? Depends on the scent, but yes. Do you mark your territory? No. <laughs> uh, that actually might be helpful. You're not marking your territory? No. Let's see what we can find here. Do you want me to Yeah. You want me to, could, you want me to try to we, track the child? I'm not sure if it, it might have been too long for, the, for, for, for the scent to um, it might have disappeared okay, by now. Listen, listen. If we can't find anything here, we may be able to take a quick run to your house and get something from her room. Yeah. I can go get it. It's fine. Yes, yes God. Yes, storyteller? <laughs> I'm not sure that would work because I don't think uh, the mother, even in her horrible state, would keep any dirty clothes with the scent on them. They would all be washed. Doesn't she have a favorite turtle? Did we we found that, didn't we? Well, did we did we find it at the house or? We didn't no, we found the turtle. Right. Oh yeah, we did off the side of the road. So that would be back in the office. No, it was in that scary house. No, we gave it back to her. No, we gave it back to her. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was in the scary house. Well, it's just something to keep in mind. If if we find something. Yeah. Not sure. Sorry, Mercy. I'm not trying to say you have to sniff underwear if we find it, but it might be helpful. Don't have to. I was not even considering that. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac, you can investigate the mud footprints and all. Um, very well, I can look around for footprints. Um, Isaac would, uh, would start trying to look around in the mud to see if he can see any footprints. Did it? Oh, no. <laughs> Do for me. I mean, what... Wits, an investigation at difficulty three, please. We He's assume there's the mud because it rains all the time in England, right? I mean, the fact that there is actually always mud somewhere, yeah. <laughs> That's fine, Isaac. You look around, trying to find uh, footprints in the mud. Unfortunately, the small amount of mud that you can find is incredibly narrow and wouldn't fit a human foot. However, as you do look around, you do find a small, fresh trace of blood spattered upon stone. Ah, oh, there's some relatively fresh blood here in this stone, Isaac would point it out to everyone. You might be able to get a good scent from that, Mercy. Well, we need I mean, to know it's not that blood accurate. Is. That too. Cedra will walk over to the blood. You bet. Put the finger <laughs> in it and lick it. Do taste the blood for me, show, please. Show you taste of. Ding, ding, ding. I'm sorry. What did you say? <clears throat> do taste of blood for me. Okay. Do it or show it. Do it. <laughs> Pop it. Wonderful. You taste the blood, swilling it around. You notice it's not exactly kindred blood. It has a taint of kindred blood to it. It has no blood potency. You realize that this will be ghoul blood. That's good. So I think this is ghoul blood. Maybe she kicked him hard enough? Or scratched him. That's actually really good yeah. to know, though. That narrows this down greatly. Yes, we at least know that it is a kindred matter and a ghoul kidnapped this individual, if that is what the blood is from. 
I look around to see if there's any other sign of struggle because if, if somebody was bleeding and that means there was a struggle that she could have maybe tore clothing off or something. I or would versa. also be searching for this kind of stuff. So if I can assist Xavier. Xavier, what's an investigation? Also, oh, sorry, Mercy, go on. I also try to search because this is a kid, not, not a vampire, so. Wits, investigation, uh, difficulty three, modifier two. Three. Wonderful. Thank God you have the modifiers. Mm -hmm. As you look around, you can see small signs of a struggle. Bits of twigs broken off the hedge, things like that. And then you notice something glistening under the streetlights. A small gold plate badge in the shape of the Eye of Horus. Oh boy. Uh, first off, does it look like my scarring? Yes. Is it a different, yeah? I turn around and I hold it up. What is that? I wasn't expecting I up, that. I pull up my sleeve for mercy. You see the eye of Horus, but in like scarring. It's not a tattoo, it's a scar. Ah. Uh, thing? I'll give you two guesses on who this is attached to. They're probably both right. Oh, without having to guess, I wonder if they're gathering sacrifices. Exactly. Or. They're gathering bait to lure us in to sacrifice us. Or you. That too. I look around for cameras. It's an awareness of difficulty too, please. <laughs> After you lick the blood. <laughs> That's not cameras. Yeah, oh, she's oh, okay. Yeah. For... If camera you. saw us, camera saw them. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, I thought that was blood thingy still. Uh, you look around for cameras, but you see none. This is a fairly middle class area, so they don't bother. They just have street lights. That's disappointing. Sorry, a lot of women say that to me. That do, do, do I still get to roll investigation or do uh, because it, uh, maybe you, you're already succeeded, I don't need to. If you want to do another look around, please tell me. Yeah, you gave I me the modifier earlier, but you could look around again. Oh. Mm -hmm. We're not really timed on anything, so we can try as much as we want or as much as the storyteller will let us. So it's which investigation? Well, what are you doing? Okay. Um, well, he's already looked, at the, looked, looked for the mud. He, he found, Xavier found the, uh, the medallion. I look for some other clues, like, like a medallion or some other, something that might, might be lost. Yeah, that's vague enough. Give me what's an investigation of difficulty three, please. You can re-roll if you'd like. Uh, no, I'll save it for later. All right. You look around, trying to find something. Nothing appears immediately to your senses. You stroke your shoulders and just give out a disappointed oh. I want to uh, go ahead and look around for anything um, of the ordinary or torn clothing or, or something from like a struggle or may have been left behind by the individual kidnapped or maybe the kidnapper. That's maybe nice and kidnapper. specific. I like that. What's an investigation at difficulty two, please? Okay. 
Oh, Isaac. Wait, what? Oh. That doesn't look like it rolled correctly. No, that doesn't look right. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me try this again. It but should it is. That was no die. Yeah. Investigation. You don't still have like a negative two modifier, do you? No. Even then, you get to roll like that. Okay. Lovely. There we go. You look around, rummage underneath the bush where you saw signs of a struggle from Xavier earlier. You reach down and find a handwritten note. It merely has the words Deliverance upon Godstow Abbey written upon it. As you do, a person in the house opens their door, walks down the path, and comes straight at you. Ah! Well, that's what we're going to do next. You must be the police. They sure let you investigators dress casual, don't they? I guess it must be better to Actually, blend I'm in. Actually, I'm a private investigator. That explains how come you came so fast. I'm glad I made the call about the girl being kidnapped. So, can you tell me more what you saw? I didn't get a clear view of her face, but I saw this girl walking along the pavement. Maybe coming back from school or something? I'm not sure, but she was just taken off the streets. Car, tinted windows, pulled up just behind her. This guy got out. He was wearing sunglasses and a cheap suit. It's like he's some sort of secret agent type. It was really fucking weird. But they didn't seem to have the cash to pull off the look properly. It just looked a bit mishmashed. Anyway, this guy gets out, walks up behind her, picks her up as if she was absolutely nothing, throws her in the back of the car, and then they just drive off. I think I heard him say something like, go to, go to Abbey, God to Abbey, something like that. Did she kick him or scratch him or anything? She looked like she tried to put up a bit of a fight, but this guy was having none of it. Uh, could you tell what type of car it was? SUV, car. Being a private investigator here. It was a five-door saloon. That's actually what they're calling over there. Yeah, I, I was wondering why you were laughing at me. To be yeah, honest. Yeah. 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 We don't call them saloons. It's a hatchback. Yeah. Oh, it's not a hatchback. Okay. Oh, no, it... Yeah, it is. If it's five doors, it's a hatchback. Or, or, yeah, right, or it's an right. SUV. <laughs> <laughs> so it wouldn't be a saloon, it would just be a five-door hatchback. See, I'm not a gearhead either. Cargo bro. I was just waiting for that response again. <laughs> you didn't catch a license plate, did you? No. Uh, didn't catch the registration number either. Sorry, I'm originally from America. I'm sorry. But did you hear the good news recently? No, what did you hear? I was watching on Wolf News. The... <laughs> Your president <laughs> has become very ill. This pleased me most. Unfortunately, our prime minister had the same thing, but he got better, unfortunately. Yeah, we've run into into instances of this illness. Karma can bite you in the ass sometimes. Not my prince. So. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you can think of that we need to know? Nothing comes to mind. Well, did Again, you mention the color of? Did you mention the color of the um, saloon? Blue. It's blue. Again, I take out a piece of paper, put down the pub's number on it, give it to her. Say, "This is a place that you can reach me 
if you can think of anything else that we might need to know, give them a call here, ask for Cedra. This is a pub. Yeah, it's kind of a go between for me. It's inconspicuous. Okay. Exactly. That I've been to that pub. It is not inconspicuous. It's a nice pub, though, isn't it? It's all right. I think they watered down the drinks. Person they had behind the bar, that woman, she's a bit ditzy. Yes, she is. Of course, we pay. We pay for other staff. You don't have to drink from. Never. Yeah, well, she's easy on the eyes. You want to look at somebody prettier? Or you want a strong drink? Pick your poison. And a pub makes you choose. We don't. That's bears. Anyway, thank you very much for your time and your help. Oh, well, quite welcome. Do private investigators often work with the police? Oh yeah, definitely. Charisma, persuasion. Ah, difficulty two, please. In the US they actually do, so mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not lying. They do there. not in the UK. They don't. They do, they do no. in the US? They do for the they public do. defender's it's office. Very, yeah, it's a, <laughs> that's true. See? It's actually very they do for uh the police too. It's it's a common thing. Less people have to pay. Police sort of frown on it in the UK, sort of because they're not it's, hired by the police, but they work with the police if the um, victim's family hires them. Yeah, usually, yeah, usually it's the family that hires. Them. Yeah, I mean, the, it'll be, you know, it's a private investigator, so they've been hired by someone else. But the in the UK, those private investigators tend to share their information with the family first, and not with the police very often. Oh, here they work close. Listen to yeah, to fine. live and die in LA. <laughs> but that's fine. She gives you this small smile and just turns around and walks back into her house. Ozzy, did well, you share that thing you found with us? Or was that that was Mercy with the phrase on it? Um yes, uh, yes, Isaac would share the note with the Kodui. Sounds like we need to go so, there next. The Godstow Alley, Abby. Do we know where that's at? Yeah, I mean, even you if you don't. You maps of your thingamajigs, don't you? Exactly. And even if you don't have that, there will be a map in the car. It's fair to say that. So you, you will know it is outside of the city limits. Oh. That's risky. Wait, didn't we get a little more leniency with everybody for this or for? No, I think that was for a specific thing. And well... right now we have an independent and anarch for the car. It, as long as we don't act stupid, they're supposed to know we're working with Mercy now. Oh, you're fucked then. That's true. <laughs> Wait, would the are, Scourge are be able to stand? Would the Scourge be able to stand up to a werewolf? Ooh, that could be what a fun fight. Scourge? That's meta information. Let's wait and see. That's true. My guess is it wouldn't just be the Scourge. True. Anything you wish um, to discuss on your way? Oh, there you go. No? Uh, Mercy, I've said it before. Maybe I should explain it a little better. Um, when I got in the car before and I was like, don't. It doesn't matter what situation we get into. If you feel the need to transform, don't. I can probably, you know, code my own without transforming. 
we would appreciate it, at least for now. Last thing we need is you tearing apart everybody, including us, in the middle of Oxford. And it would I mean, pose a danger to yourself. I, this 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 is I this I do know, but um, no. Until we settle this thing with the Ripper, you know, I'm trying to you know keep a low keep a low profile as I can without you know letting any of you die. Because if any of you die, that breaks my word with my late sister. Letting us die. Or allow indirectly to. I th I think we need to establish that boundary right now, though. If we get to a point where we possibly could die, it's still probably better for him to not transform. I will do my Agreed. best to t try to take care of the situation without transforming, but it it it, it depends. If it's safe, you know. And you know what, what I mean, say, but right. Unfortunately, we don't get to decide where it's safe. Well, I mean, if we're in a, in a place where there's no risk of breaking the masquerade and we're relatively sure there won't be observers, wouldn't be much harm in it, would there? Something you should know. Having a werewolf there. Yeah. Something you should know that if a m mortal or human sees me, they most likely won't remember seeing me in that form. That's something called the delirium. When they see us, when a, when a mortal, you know, non supernatural sees, sees us in that form, they either panic or try to. You know, justify what they're seeing in in in, in, the, in in their mind somehow. But if you take a picture of us, then all bets are off. But you know, just sight to sight, they, they probably won't well, never see me. Isaac, why can't you do that? Built-in well, obvious. But, but again, I that's only for. Like but again, that's only for mortals. If it's a vampire. That's off again. And I'm not sure um, about the people you call ghouls. So I hope that, that, that now is helping uh, alleviate, alleviate your fears in, in some way. That's helpful. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? This is spooky, dude. This is spooky. If you, if you players don't pack it in, I'm going to turn this game around and we're going to go right back to the country domain. <laughs> no saving child for you. At this point, we're going to take a break. Not saving the child. So we'll be right back. Hopefully. As you can hear, there are dry leaves on the floor that are crunching underneath their feet as they walk out of the vehicle. They can see the ruins of the abbey in the distance, dimly lit, presumably by candlelight. Ruins! Candlelight. Bears, oh God. my! If we pull up here and there's a bunch of people in white suits and hats, I'm going to be pissed. 
We could still it be sounds like we're have fun. Yeah, you know what? You could turn at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I take a look around for cameras. <laughs> yeah, that's free. You you see no cameras, just the field, ruins, and the road. Is there a is there a chain on the gate? Yes. I yank the chain off then. Strength, strength, difficulty no three, camera. please. Three. Maybe I should activate a prowess first. <laughs> no, actually, maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that your strength was that low. You can also re-roll two. It's only two dots. Yeah, I yeah you know what? I don't use willpower ever, so let me just do this. There you go. Four. Xavier walks up to the gate, holds the chain in his hand, gives a slight, small smile, puts his other hand on it, and breaks it apart <laughs> as if it was paper, sinking back to the alleyway where he smashed in the chav's face earlier in the night. My common theme these days, me punching people where their face caves in. I, 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 front of the guy after the I break boys. it off, I, I push the gate open and I say, after you. Age before beauty. Oh, wait. Well, and Cedar walks through. Just... <laughs> well, I suppose right. I'll follow. Isaac will follow behind Cedra. Yeah, I'll follow behind as well. A conga line of horns as line. you slowly walk into the field, seeing the ruins in front of you. Dun, 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 dun. We're singing. We're singing that song from earlier. <laughs> Fuck this! I'm sorry. The ruins emerge. <laughs> the ruins are still some distance away, but you can see them. So, uh. We just gonna walk up and all, on this, or we have a plan. What if, like, literally, what if a ritual's happening? Yeah, we should probably scope out the area and see how many people are involved. You should not. You should not either, Isaac. Cedric, silence. You got binoculars because that's about as close as you're gonna get. <clears throat> The brand won't work on me, but I can mental speak with some of you. Be keeping contact. Can't you be, can't you be quiet? I can. You know why I was I'm having on? trouble being quiet last week. Yeah, fine. I guess I'll stay here. <laughs> I hold Superficial on damage to all to sleep. Yeah, yeah. I activate Silence of Death with Cedra. Isaac? Oh, no, thank you. I'll pass. I'll just stay by Amon. I'm, I'm kind of used to that. Is it okay if I, I look at Cedra? Is it okay if I make a speech with you? You can keep quiet, right? Yeah. He's wanting to speak in your mind. Oh, mental speech, yes. Yeah, I guess so. I hope that's not freaky. Wait, you don't bark, do you? No. Okay. Play you bark cards, in my right? mind, might... that won't go well. Play your cards, right? You might wag his tail, though. Out of character, I am bringing up the display on the power. Oops. And rolling. Yes. Do I need, fail. Can I spend real power? Yes. I was going to spend real power on it. Uh, you can reroll up to three dice. Uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can reroll up to three dice. That's not how you do it. And on yeah, your character sheet, you've got a WP reroll. 
Yeah, it's a button that says WP reroll right power, under your There will power. be a WP reroll. Hit that button mm -hmm. and choose the is number a, of dice you want to reroll. Is it a ah, WP reroll? Xavier, yeah, I, I was going to say, do you want to throw yeah. in the same shit? <laughs> Just for a set? I felt left out. <laughs> there, one, one to side. Okay, that's a fail. Well, three, three total. That's a fail. Yeah. How many do I need? Four. Four. Ah, uh, so I can't. I can't re roll anymore. Nope. Ah. But there's nothing stopping you from trying again, I as can. far as I understand it. Yeah, I was going to try again. Thank you. Okay. Mercy, you're all right. You look a little constipated over there. Having a bit of trouble, but I'll be okay. <laughs> Not gonna have trouble being stealthy, are you? Okay. And you oh, can do a man. WP reroll. I'm gonna... You can find that on your yeah. character sheet under under willpower. It says WP <laughs> reroll. Yeah, a little button that says Thank WP you. reroll. Thank you. One more. There we go. There you, there go, you yeah. go. And as mercy. <laughs> Managed to uh, activate the power. He, he says, I say, intercede with mine. I'm here. Can you hear me? I say back to him in the same way I'm used to doing with the brand. Yeah, can you hear me? In, 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 in middle speech. In middle speech, he says, shall we go? Let's go. <clears throat> Same just, just stand the... there like. Oh wait, no, we we left the car. Never mind. Damn it. I would follow quietly. I have silent death. Amon um, sitting there against the fence with his time. arms crossed. He was putting time out. Poor guy. <laughs> yeah. So Amon, I, I have to. Would you like? I feel I should ask. You just want to straight walk up to the abbey. This is no, this sneaking. is your cunning plan. No. No. Two of us have silenced of death, and we have a sneaky I'm going to crime. Okay, We're so let sneaking. me rephrase. Your cunning plan is to sneak up to the Abbey. And that's it. Well, first I was going to ask whether uh, our werewolf friend here has to do anything to be sneaky. I can't. Uh, the werewolf friend don't have any um, powers, but he's just, he can just roll. Um, stealth. I think our plan was to sneak up close enough to see what's going on before we actually go in. That yeah, that's your cunning in. plan. Are there are there trees around? Bushes. I was about to ask that. Do a wits and awareness roll at difficulty two for me, please, Sensational Cedra. I'm unsure what Shipper's getting at, to be completely honest. Well, you are probably about to find out. Yeah. Or not. I'm re rolling that shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, although it looks like I'm going to re roll two. Two. Yep. Yeah. Damn it! That's fine. No, you succeeded. Three, yeah. two. Oh, I thought it was three. It was only two? Okay. You look around and you can see that the area is surrounded by trees. As you take in the area of the actual abbey itself, you can see that there are four guards walking around, with a fifth just standing at what seems to be the entrance into the abbey ruins itself. There are four guards. Uh. I'm sneaky. I can get around these guys. Not sure I can. We want to lure them over this I'm way. Tell my sneak. We want to lure them over this way to towards the other two and take them out. So we have one up front and the rest closer to the abbey. Is that correct? They're walking around the ruins itself. And then there's one well, up front. Yeah. Can I approach the one without being seen by the other four? No.
And I'm guessing we can't lure them away without them all being lured at the same time. Or, or alerting the others. Maybe. Just just in case, um, since Amon, yeah, Amon and Isaac stayed back, how far away are we from this place? Like, generally speaking. I'm, I'm gauging so I can figure First out of all, how fast generally can speaking. Get there. <laughs> I'm just asking so I can figure out how quickly I can get there. We're not that far back. away, by the way. We really haven't left. Okay. Well, because right like blink, you. blink is like fifty feet, I think. So that's fine. You'd be further than fifty yeah, feet. That's... Okay. That's what he's trying to find out. It's fifty meters, but okay. Fifty meters. Wow. That's actually a I mean, lot further than difference. I thought it was. Yeah. Well, that's a top level, which Xavier has. So does he? He's thirty-five. So. Uh... Yeah. I'm a big kid now. So I would like to try to flit from tree to tree to get in a tree somewhat close to that guard. Not in, behind. Do for me dexterity, stealth, difficulty three, please. You want to get to the front guard? She's got silence of death. That doesn't add anything to it, though, does it? No, that just makes any noise you make silent. Okay. But you can still be seen Yeah, visibly. I'm not going to make it. Mm, true. Cedra attempts to fly from tree to tree. Unfortunately, as is the story of Cedra's life, she gets stuck in a bush. This is the player's fault. Out of character. This character does have silence on death. I was looking in the, in the wrong place for it. So can I activate it now? Or, or, or am I my, my turn lost? No, you're fine. You can activate that. Okay. What do werewolves have? Right? Where, oh, where geez, the ability man. to sit on the furniture. Ah. See, what were you going for there? And I could probably do it better. No offense. I was going to lure him away. Uh, uh, hang on. Oh, yeah, you've, you've been... No, you haven't been branded, have you, Xavier? Oh, no. It's not. No, but did she get very far? She... She got she into a bush. She scatter up a tree and then try to... I didn't go in a tree. I was going behind the trees. I think the more, um... more the point, more the point, unless she's standing right next to you, which she wouldn't have because she did try to move somewhere. Okay. You know? Yeah. And then... She always whispering so... like this. Well, Xavier has silence of death, so she, active, she right? ran off. Okay. Yeah, can you even talk with silence of death on? Yeah. You can talk with silence of death on. You can do if someone anything. Someone can see you. But you'll still be yeah. heard. Oh. It just it makes any noise that, that you would make silent. If I did this, like you wouldn't hear anything. Do I need to re-roll that? But when you talk, you're not actually making any noise. You're causing the air in front of you to vibrate, which is causing the noise. I don't think you actually have to roll anything faster. You, roll, you don't roll for, for sounds of death. death. Oh, okay, my bad, then. Uh, I, the, the closest guard, I try to sneak up and take them out, with quotes. I try to sneak up to him first. Do for me. Dexterity, athletics, difficulty two, please, for the sneaky. Two. Wonderful. You successfully sneak up behind one of the disciples who doesn't notice you whatsoever. I try to grapple him, but put my hand over his mouth and pull him back into a bush or something. Strength, brawl, difficulty... Difficulty two, please. Plus, um... Specialty in grappling? Yeah, absolutely. Four. Okay. 
You successfully grab the setite from behind, put your hand over his mouth, and drag him as he struggles into a nearby bush. I'll try to choke him out too. Until he passes out. You're not going to do that. That's going to be an automatic failure. If you want to choke him out. I'm assuming though you want to do more than choke him out. Because you know. Kindred don't breathe. Oh is, is it. Ew. Oh you said a set that. Oh so if I know I it's set Kindred. Set uh. It's next. I would, but yeah, you you can do physical feet. violence on him. I'm just saying you can't knock him out, or that you can't choke no, him. No, if I got him, in, but if I know he's kindred, I'll 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 feed and brutal feed. I'll kill him. Oh, do your predator roll for me, please. Oh wait, wait, show me brutal feed. Show me brutal feed. Two seconds. Oh yeah, this doesn't work on uh uh the people the of the kindred type like it does ah. on. It only I'm does superficial health him, damage. Though. Yeah, you can still feed on him. Yeah. If Mercy's the buy, it's a it's a vampire. He would he's okay with you know, no, taking care of the problem. It, yeah, it'll I do get successful game. feeding up to my potence though. If I actually succeed. The victim takes the first bite damage, followed by a number of automatically successful feeding actions up to the user's potence rating. Do your predator roll for me, please. Okay. Uh, difficulty only going to be two in this instance. I did it. I did it again. We'll wait. Are you spent Why are you bad, roll 20? I know. I hate this. I mean, it's not like people have things to do on a Friday night except put, put several play games or anything. Right. I'll F5, <laughs> see if it repopulates it. That has helped before. Mm -hmm. It's also fucked us up before. Mm -hmm. There we go. There it goes. Uh, your first one. There we well, go. Both, both are successes. And up to your potence rating. I have a three. Okay. You're a three? In potence, yeah. Would you like to drain him? If I can, yes. Absolutely. I, I have no issue with you for, you know, having done the successful role, you successfully draining him and essentially putting him in torpor. Because as far as I'm yes. concerned, there's no issue with that. You've got time to do that when you're not seen. Okay. So yep. you may also slake two hunger down to zero. Oh, down to zero. All right. Cool. I'm having and a that's good one guard down. <laughs> oh my god, it's a night when Xavier's not hungry. This is also, I just to remind you, this is not combat, so... We're all free form. Although Xavier is a little bit busy doing dinner at the moment. No, I think I figured I'm incapacitated for a hot minute. Yeah. <laughs> so did he get that first know, card or one of the four others? He got one of the others. One of the others. Okay. Then Isaac I can continue my pursuit. Oh. Yeah, let Isaac do something tonight. Um, Isaac's going to pull out his uh, notepad and pen. Uh, Hamad, would you like to play some tic-tac-toe while we wait? One of those times you regret saying anything. <laughs> Why not? You know, give me a pen. So Hamad and Isaac play some tic-tac-toe. Continue. Actually... I would like you both to make an intelligence and performance roll. <laughs> it, it'll be a contest. Oh, Isaac's about to kick my ass tic-tac-toe. Intelligence <laughs> and performance? Yes, please. 
Which performance? I've only got three dots total. That's more than me. Really? Huh. I have more intelligence than Isaac. Uh, no, what are you equal? I have three intelligence zero performance. You still kicked my ass. So just so you all know, <laughs> as they play their game, Isaac wins. Thankfully, no one descends into the beast. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, that's clever. Over tic-tac-toe. He's Bruja. It can happen. Mm -hmm. Amon just snaps the pen in half and walks to the <laughs> ruins. Just be glad it wasn't Cedra you were playing with, because if she goes into the beast, she will eat your soul. Oh. Nom nom nom. <laughs> that was the most adorable om nom nom I've ever heard in my life, I have to say. <laughs> I'm not even finished with my first drink yet. Vancouver by night's right. <laughs> Who's next? Mercy? Yeah, Mercy hasn't done anything. I was gonna, I was gonna ask it. Um, did Mercy was it Mercy able to see what Xavier did? No, not, not. I not mean, I would say that if, even just, if you just, couldn't just, see, I would say even if you couldn't see enough to make out the details, you would see enough to be able to work out what's going on, or at the very least, work out that that guard's basically out of quite out of the picture now. All right. So if you took out one of the four guards patrolling, I want to take out. I want to aim for the guard that. Oh, I don't want to say. Oh, I guess I could say next to the line or like not in. Another not one of the um, patrolling guards. Yeah, the, the, the one that's not in um, line of sight. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. What you want to do? I want to like uh, sneak up on him and try to drag him into the bushes. Oh, cover his mouth. Dexterity. Stealth. Difficulty... Difficulty one, please. Uh, stealth. I think I clicked it, but... I'll click it again. There we go. There you go. You successfully managed to sneak up behind the Setite Disciple without him noticing you or anything like that. His back is currently turned to you. You reach out and attempt to grapple him and put your hand over your mouth. Strength and brawl. Difficulty two, His please. Mouth. That's what I meant. His mouth. Yeah. Um, he had a... Specialty and grappling bar. Then have a bonus die. Oh, brawling stunt, correct? Mm-hmm. And the extra die just put a, 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 one, one, one in the modifier. Mm-hmm. And if you want to do a willpower reroll, there's a button underneath willpower that says WP reroll. Button dis dis disappear, but I don't see my roll yet. It'll it'll appear. Oh damn it, Vancouver! <laughs> right up here. Yeah, do it again, see what happens. I can brawl with one modifier. Did the same thing. Nipples. Press F5, re redo. Uh, there it goes. There it goes. Oh, there it goes. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so your first, you one. first one. Was a five and a success. You successfully grab the setite and five. Fuck me. 
Grapple him with all your lupine might. Keep him extremely restrained as he is dragged off like a... No, can't say that one. Like a straw ragdoll into a nearby bush. Although extremely hurt, you haven't put him in final death or torpor. I'm trying to figure out combat out of character. If I punch them, I'm silent, but the, but the punch would, would cause a noise, correct? Not enough to be heard. He also has I, silence of death on. I I I I try to kill I try to kill him with the uh, punch Don't forget. through the through the face. What? It nullifies the sound you make, but if they make an oof or scream, strength yeah. brawl. So that's why I'm I'm aiming for the head. Go ahead. Strength brawl difficulty two, please. Oof. That's what we want. You plunge your fist straight through, to the head. straight through the setite's very soft skull. Fast and swift. So fast that he doesn't even have enough time to react before he even probably realises it. You have sent him to final death. The corpse flails around briefly before just before drying itself out like a desiccated raisin. A desiccated raisin. A desiccated grape. It becomes a raisin. Who next? So was that, again... Sorry, I'm losing track. Was that, that was one of those guard. three remaining guards? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's still the one up front. There are still two guards and one on front. I will attempt again to sneak up to the one on front. At this the point, tree. with so few guards, I'm going to say that that's an automatic success. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> the guard on the front door notices you immediately. I bite my cheek. Before you do that. Oh. He's going to use a power against you, boy. She's going to cast Who Loves Face on you. Mm. Oh, yeah, I should probably do a rouse check as well, shouldn't I? Mm. Okay, so she gains hunger. As you look upon, as you look upon <laughs> the guard on the door, you realize exactly who that is, the person who is that fine line between sister and lover. Oh my god, what are you doing here? Come here. Come Why, here. What are you doing Danger, here? Come here. Come okay, here. Okay, what's going on? Why are you here? Who are you here with? I pull her behind a tree. I'm investigating something very dangerous. You are in a lot of danger. What are you I'm, doing here? I'm not in any danger. This is safe. This is fine. Who are you here with? This, this is not safe. You gotta go home. Go home. Lock your doors. You gotta go home. Please. For fuck's sake. Come on, Roll20. Do it for me. It's not gonna do it for me. Goddamn Rouse Trex. Well, we can assume that it's going to be successful and I'll give her a hunger regardless of what happens. She is going to cast Entrancement. Which is also not going to work. 
Because why would it? Oh, but there that works. So you will need to uh, do composure, composure and wits. And wits. If this bloody thing ever goes through, which for some reason that is not going through. It takes a while. Doesn't it just? There we go. Oh, that, that's a, that's the rouse check. Fuck me. But I'm glad I gave no, it a I hunger because it was correct. One day it's going to work. I'm sure one day it will work. There we go, finally. So please beat seven. Yikes. I rolled it already. Should I roll it again? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to beat seven. I don't have seven die. Lovely. Ooh, not lovely. <laughs> no, Isaac, go fish. Tell me who you're here with. And I have to tell her? Yeah. And here with my friends that I go out with every night. How many of you are there? Five. Wait here. And then I'll go. Please be safe. Of course. And with that, she I don't wanders know off. What I would do if I lose you. You mean everything to me. And she wanders off, opens the front door. Moments later, you can see her opening the front door again. And going off the opposite direction that you came in. Is that the way towards home? Her home? It's the way back into the city. Okay. Peace. As she walks that way, I say back to Amon, there's a woman walking the other direction. Make sure she leaves safely. Um, I don't know if he'd okay. be able to see her. What does she look like? Good question. She is a gorgeous Middle Eastern woman. What color are her socks? <laughs> She's not wearing any. Oh. She is a gorgeous Middle Eastern woman. No hat woman. either? She's very cute. She have, cute. she have let me know when I should act upon this woman showing up in front of me. She's not going your direction. She's going. She the goes the way. actual. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So out of character, Caesar wants me to go after her. Is that what I missed? Or no, no just no. see her. Just keep an eye on her. Out of character, Miss Hart so is giving see you her... a great point to role play later on. Yeah. Well, I'm just. Well, because the way she worded it, I thought she was going towards me. So I was just clarifying. You could also... You can't see her. You could go somewhere to see her. Right. No, I was, that was my, my next option, yes. But people um, love it in RP games when you stop the game to ask these questions. Do I Come see on, the woman did you walking off? Play old maid or no. has something come up? Uh, Siju just said that there was some woman leaving and to keep an eye on her. You said I didn't see her shit? Correct. All right. I don't see her. Should we... I mean, you'll see the outline of a figure coming out of the building and going the opposite direction, but that'll be about it. Okay, that's good enough for me. I just needed a, direct, a, a direction. Um... Yeah, something's come up. Isaac, let's, uh, why don't you go ahead and come with me? Because if my hunch is correct, I don't think we have to worry about being stealthy anymore. And I start walking in the direction of the figure. Isaac will follow. 
Oh, As no. you walk the direction, you are met upon by two Setai disciples. Did they, like, intercept me? Yep. Okay, well, that's out of the window, and I immediately uh, pull my swords out. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack one of them. Alright. Strength and melee. And yeah, he's gonna try the one you're in combat with is just gonna try and punch you in between. That's a shit roll. My swords are a plus three as well. In a clash of fists versus swords. You attempt to elegantly dispose of the person you're fighting, stabbing, swiping, swooshing in the air. Disciple, the disciple attempts to punch you as hard as he can. Unfortunately, he is no match for your amazing combat style and gliding blades in the air. You do six superficial damage and two aggravated damage. Damn. Isaac. But he's still standing. Yes. Whoa, whoa. No, that's not the song, is it? <laughs> still standing. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Thank you. Isaac. I will gotcha. act- yes. I will activate uh, toughness. Show me toughness. Oh, yep. Uh... Oh, crap. Hold on. Well, you're gaining a hunger. Right. This is okay. rising success. Well, your first Wait. one was a hunger gain. Did it go twice? Yep. Oh, I didn't even realize I clicked it twice. Sure. So you will be taking away your fortitude rating from any damage sustained. Well, from any superficial yes. damage sustained. Yes. And I'll still let you do um, something if you'd like. Sure. Um, I will uh, try to... Yep. Ha 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 ha! I uh, see you, sir! Ha ha! You are no match for my 50 cuffs! Strength Brawl and the Setite Disciple is going to do the same. Because he's looking at you and you're just this frail old man. He's like, I could fucking have that guy. And he doesn't. Well, Messi, critical. Holy shit. I you know what, Shiv? I'm really hungry right now. Do you think that'll factor <clears throat> into my Messi critical? Not really. Okay. Okay. You've got to grapple someone first before you can feed on them. Yeah. But I see what you're saying. I mean, if you want, because I'm a nice GM, I'll let you uh, retroactively say you're trying to grapple him. Uh, sure. All right. Isaac lurches forward with his grabby presidential hands, larger than average. As a setite throws fisticuffs at him, attempting to punch him as hard as he can. Unfortunately, the old man seems to be possessed by some sort of supernatural spirit, who the thunk, and the setite, quite, quite quizzically, is grabbed, confused, and restrained by Isaac. Um, only one setite... Oh, no. No, setites both tried to punch you back, so neither of them can go. So that brings us back to Armand. Um... I just look at the guy still standing and I go, man, I need to just, ah, uh, her. Yeah, man, I really, you were, a, you were a lot tougher than I expected. And then I'm going to activate prowess before attacking again. Okay. And the disciple will... responds to you, but all you hear is the gurgling of blood in his throat. I still want to. Um, so do you want me to show prowess? Yeah, show me prowess, please. 
Boop. And okay, then, do a rouse check for me. I remember that's the rouse check button. Yes. Uh, so it's two feats of strength. So strength melee. I assume if you want yeah. to use your swords. Yep. And then my potence is three, so there's that adds two successes to that. Nope. Yeah, it does add half their potence rating rounded two up to their of oh, strength. damage. Uh, at the oh, no, I was thinking of unarmed them. damage value. Yeah. And feats. Well, of I was I was thinking about the end. I was thinking about the end. It's to melee damage. I got so confused. Half your potence. Uh, and yes. he's just going to—he—he he is confused and bewildered at this point, and he's just going to try and punch you back. And you do how much? What is your potence rating? Three. So it's half two. rounded up, so two. Two. And then the plus three Five. on my sword. Eight. You Math. will your vitae into the muscles in your arms. You swing your swords as if they were great burdening tree trunks, bringing down heavy blows upon the Setite, who is just bleeding everywhere, looking at you confused. From the first blow, you can see that blood is seeping out of his eye sockets. From the second blow, you see that blood is slowly seeping out of his mouth. From your third blow, you stab him straight through the chest. He gurgles a bit and forms lifeless on the ends of your blades. His corpse dries itself out, and you end up looking at a dried-out husk of a skeleton on the end of your swords. And then I look to see what Isaac is doing. Guys, Theatre's trial's a badass. Isaac is going to try to feed. Hey, do your predator roll for me, please. Difficulty is going to be one, because I'm going to be nice. And if you fuck this up with difficulty one... All right, everybody, cover your ears. I think I did increase my streetwise a little bit. Hey! There you go. You find, finally. You find a vein near the surface of his skin and sink your fangs straight into his skin. He lets out a massive scream of pain through the night. Would you like to drain him? Because I've got no issue if you want to drain him. Draining him? He's trying for Diablery. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac will just <laughs> hold one to him and he's going to drink deep. Do you want to try and Diablerize him? I mean, this is I um, the place, but I could bring up the rules if you want. Yeah. You're not going to gain anything from it, I can no, tell you that. I mean, Other than an aura. Uh, Di Diablery uh, is. A lot more involved. I would not want to diabolize out in the open where I could be attacked. And people see it on you for what a year? It's uh, a year for every generation that you go up. So if you go up two generations, you get the aura for two years. Anyway, but what if we don't go up any generation? Then he'll have it for a minimum of a year. Well, I think one's a minimum. You sink your fangs into the vein and drink deep as you can, taking every single drop of Vitae out of the setite. You may slake three hunger down to zero. As you, sink, as you sup, the corpse becomes more and more drained dry until eventually it's like you're sucking on a raisin ah oh, i needed that aman i feel so refreshed aman's just covering the sides of his head going what <laughs> uh and then i immediately try and look around to see if i still see that figure that's trying to leave oh she's gone Back to the other group. 
I mental beat to receive one. Uh, I took care of one. How about you? Uh, one wasn't a threat. Actually, you can't hear me. Oh, go ahead. Hey, Shiver. Hello, Donnie. Shiver. Shiver. Um, I believe I got the beast when she... I should let it go, but playing fair. Did you? Yeah, when she overpowered me on that last roll. What was she doing? And transmit? So oh, yeah. Well seen. <laughs> Let me bring out the sheet. Not that I want to bring it up, but I'm trying to be nice. Well, well yeah, Shiver's bringing fired. up rules. Uh, I'm going to mental message uh, Cedra. Um, whoever that girl was, I don't think it, I think she pulled the same trick on you that they pulled on Xavier last time. And I think they know we're here now. And if I'm, I wouldn't believe that, would I? Because I'm still under the spell. Correct. Right. No, trust me, I'm on. You. That was someone who was very dear to me. I don't know how she got all messed up with this, but I'm happy she's getting away safely. You're going you to suffer from the dominance compulsion. Oh, fuck. What's that? You cannot use teamwork and performance action that avoids establishing <laughs> dominance or challenging authority at a two-dice penalty to your pools. This ends... When you, you have won and gloated over it. You have to be the Bruja this week. Basically, yeah. <laughs> so you're not be a team player? Fuck. Yeah, yeah and you don't even know what's coming, but I do. So let me rephrase what I said to Aban. Fuck off. Are you questioning me? No. She does not deserve to be here. And she will leave safely. I, I just look at Isaac and go, I just got a really un your response. I think we might need to go over and help. Well, very yes. well, I'll follow yes. you. I'm on. The cowboy will arrive. And me, <laughs> Isaac and I will start making our way over. You pass I'll let them out of a bush. do something. What are you two doing? Going out of a bush like yeah. Um, well, Cedra messaged us about a woman being here that she knew, and I think that the group here pulled the same trick on her that they did on you, because when I went to follow her, two more showed up, and then now she's gone, and when I did tried to tell kill? Cedra about it, I didn't get a very Cedra response back. Did we kill all the other guys before we went to the building no, we're not even at the building yet are we the one you're you went in the after general was vicinity the of it yeah she was standing at can the front Mushy, general vicinity she <laughs> can mostly see the um others are, are gathering up or oh yeah oh yeah no Mushy with your canine over, senses you group. can definitely see that <laughs> Were the two that uh, Isaac and I encountered, were they the, the two guards that were left that were patrolling? Gotcha. As if someone spurred them into action. <laughs> right, I, no, I was just making sure because we're standing here talking, so I don't want to Let's go find anybody else going. Hey. Yeah. Cedra does I've, not Go to the group and approaches the building. All right. On her own. All righty. Do we all do this? Uh, you can probably hear the vague outline of one 
singular voice speaking very loudly. You might be able to make out the general, you know, from just general human noises that there's a crowd. General human. I will go up to a, a window and try to peek in without being seen. I think you're going to have to we... jump up to the window because this is an old oh. abbey. Oh, it's Windows high. are raised. Not, not to an inexplicable amount because they are also ruined. You know, it, it's not sort of... Are there any trees I could climb to look into the window? How high is it? Can I jump? Can I jump up to it? Yeah, yeah. It's not like I say. It's not an inexplicable amount. It 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 would only be, you know. Probably, okay. Then instead, I'll do the whole jump up. Do for I me do. dexterity and athletics difficulty two, please. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Cedra attempts to jump up. Unfortunately, not able to grab onto the windowsill in time and falls back down, landing very gracefully. It's like one of those feet. cats that tries to jump to another window and goes Do we walk up She even wiggled her bottom before she did the leap. Do you didn't see actually wiggled my bottom when I did that. But you can show us. We don't mind. Anyway, go ahead and say what you're going to say again. I've said it three times. You know, by here. <laughs> yeah, he asked Do if we... they can see me. I just pull a shiver. Do we walk up and see her trying to jump up on the window? You tell me if you want to walk up to her and see her. I was assume yeah. we're walking up that way, so we see this. Yeah, yeah right you know. I'm looking for her. Need help? No, I don't need your help. I look back at a mom. This is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. okay, I'm to to I say, okay, Most you can stay there, and I'll jump up to the window that she was trying to jump into. I will use so Soaring Leap. Soaring Leap. Uh, is that a Rouse check or pre? I don't know yet. Okay. It is not. Cool. It is free. Yeah. That's going to be a free action then. You're able to gracefully and very unzavier like grab the windowsill and pull yourself up with your pure raw strength, peeking through the remains of the window. You can see 20 setites surrounding what would appear to be a small girl wrapped in bandages, holding a Egyptian oh, what was it called? stick and sickle with one Priest, presumably, standing at the center, addressing the congregation. Is it a young girl? I mean, it's a small mummy. It's a small mummy. I don't know why that sentence tickled me. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shiver. Do I assume it's a child? Yeah, a child. I don't know what the politically correct term would be for someone of Warwick Davis' stature. What happens if person. I see something that goes against my conviction? Pardon, sorry, darling? What happens if I see something going against my conviction? Nothing immediately. Nothing immediately. I look at Amon, and you see uh, expression of extreme anger. I oh my god, it's your normal face. Like I, I know. I, I don't even address it, and I just say, how many? We're not going to be able to get in there and get out safely. Unless... And then, uh, I say unless, and I point at Mercy. I hop, I hop off the windowsill and look at Cedra. You may fucking not want to be with us right now, but they're about to kill a kid. 
we need to let him inside. That point to Mercy. You can make this call. Cedra will walk up and open the door. You open the door. And you can see that there is a very small corridor, so to speak, for lack of a better word. On your immediate right will be a set of stone stairs that lead up. Straight ahead will be straight in to the ritual Gathering. area. Mm. Let her do a thing. She might need to get smacked in the face a second to realize she's being a bitch. Uh, I'll go up the stairs. Okay. Jazz hands up the stairs. You make your way up and there's just a small stone platform. It seems the second floor is mostly in ruins, but enough remains that you could sneak along. But there is absolutely no cover whatsoever and you would be completely exposed. But you could see down into it. <laughs> yeah. I bite my cheek. Do a rouse check for me, please. I'm assuming you also want to see that. Yes, I do. Ooh, I'm getting a little hungry. The storyteller, there's, I mostly see the, the mummy, the, 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 everything including, including that the eyes are covered. Including everything that's what covered? Including the eyes. Can, can the person inside the, inside the mummy wrapping see anything? No. No, I would have okay. told you yet. Yeah, yeah. Let's wait and see what Princess does. So I technically have to wait till the next turn? Is this my next turn? Yeah, brief form at the moment. You're fine. I spit trying to hit as many as possible. Spray. Okay. You have now entered into an extended task. The difficulty is 30. Oh, God. So the way we're going to do this is you're going to do a series of actions to attempt to, I assume, rescue the child. And dispose yeah, of the point. And dispose of the 20 setites, or deal with them in some other way. This will be a cumulative success. Thus, you need to get 30 between all of you. Unfortunately, one of you is unable to help with teamwork, so will not be contributing anything to the extended task. I don't know, but I can't contribute to it. But you can certainly set it off. But um, my argument is in there. We're 30, not in there. Yeah, if yeah, I get all thirty true. on my own, does it still count? Yeah. Good luck getting okay. thirty. Mm -hmm. I so I guess we'll have to. Do <laughs> but that's the mindset Cedar's in right now. I mean, unless the others want to be the ones to contribute to this, but I'm, I would argue that she's in there. She did this. We're not in there yet. Oh, you got and to this is how Cedra died. At the moment, there, you're not in. <laughs> if I die, I die. It's the beast's fault. It's barking in my brain. Down, Mercy. Down. <laughs> okay, so spinning as many as you can. Do for me uh, strength. Is it strength and blood sorcery when it's ranged? Uh, strength and blood sorcery. Uh, yes. Okay. Do that for me, please. May I read it? And show me how many successes you get. Oh, fuck. I'm going to call how that. How does success. the beast contribute in this way? I'm going to say that that's going to be a success. Uh, okay, okay. And it's going to be it's a dexterity and athletics to try and dodge. Spread my spit like COVID-19 in a church. <laughs> or in the White House. 
Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to pack this, don't I? Okay. You take out. Let's call it. They rolled a zero. Holy shit. You take out three of the Sessite uh, disciples. You also do a fair chunk of damage from splatter damage to the priest organizing it. He turns his head, screams in anger at you, and 17 angry Sessites start rushing out of the ritual area. <laughs> I would now argue we heard him scream. They're going. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are going out the front door. Some of them are going up the stairs. Don't come outside. Um, oh, oh see, door. you know how we told you it wasn't wise to go into war form. <laughs> well, you didn't hear it from me, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, Isaac, I, I kind of <laughs> also said now might be a good time. And Murphy said, here's Johnny. And he <laughs> morphed and gets bigger. Imagine being spit on, run out, and there's a werewolf outside. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and three other kindred, like, stop. Well, and it's not being spit on. It's being spit on with acid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I just melted three of your congregation with my spit. Two of the Setites are going up onto the second level. The remaining 15 are rushing out the door. They see the werewolf. And ten of them bull rush Mercy. I pull out my swords and I prepare to attack a... <clears throat> I'm trying to gauge whether or not 10 is too many for one werewolf. How big is this, Mercy? <laughs> it's pretty oh, rough. They said that it only might be just nine feet, but she would have been um, it, exaggerating the uh, wolf form. He said 12 feet sometimes. Right. So. I think I'm going to go for one of the guys bull rushing Mercy. Okay. okay. Yeah, my penis is 12 feet long. Turns out it's only nine. <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'm can't on, get too excited or I pass out. <laughs> I'm on. Strength melee. Uh, difficulty is two. Your margin oh, will be contributing so to I the can't. successes. If oh, that wouldn't work anyway, okay. Natural face plants, if he passes out on stream, we know why. Yeah. <laughs> if fast cut doesn't. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor mask. And you will successfully take out one Sethite disciple. True. Who next? I'll go next. I activate Can... prowess. <clears throat> do a rouse check for me, please, darling. Wonderful. Yeah, I meant to do that, but I, it was too late. I already said I was attacking. I punch one of them. Oh, don't mind. Mind when they added die, so just one of the random ones or one of the ones bull rushing mercy? One of the ones rushing mercy. Okay. Strength. Brawl. Difficulty is two. And uh it's a feat of strength. It's an unarmed attack. That too. Your is annual concentrating um, is what? Three. Just real quick, was it 20 plus the priest? Or was it 20 including the priest? 20 plus the priest. Okay. We have 15, she has 2. 
Right, right. I just wasn't. I I was trying to figure out where the priest was. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where the priest is. Grabbing Still one there. of the Setite disciples as they're charging towards Mercy by the shoulder, you spin him round, clenching your fist as hard as you can, and punch him with all of your might, breaking his jaw off away from the rest of his body. He lets out a gurgled scream as his body slumps down on two knees and then desiccates it into itself. Who next? Go ahead. <laughs> don't, mind. Don't, don't make Mercy go last just because he's the werewolf. <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> For drama, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask at least. Didn't have to. Okay, fair, fair enough. I think um, Isaac, seeing the group of vampires charging Mercy, he would try to step in to try to one of the vampires before they got to Mercy <laughs> style. All right, strength, bro. Difficulty two, please. I'll show you a thing or two. Just barely. Tonight, I back and forth. Well, normally that would be true. However, as this is an extended task and you have no margins. That's fair. However, you have, you have distracted one of them. As he's just sort of staring at you. Tilting his head. Yeah. He tilts his head. And then says nothing at all. <laughs> Basically, so I felt I that that was worth narrating, you see. It's incredibly important I tell you Why he did you that and then did nothing. Like that? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm going to knock that silly look off of your face. Just you wait. Mercy. Mercy will you activate. Really just, just to keep you in the loop and know what's going on, you have seven setites charging at you with ill intent. Mercy will activate re resilient. Did you see that? Shh. Show me resilience. Tickles me. <laughs> okay. No rouse check for resilience? It's passive. <laughs> ah, ah. Uh, he should just have a big health beat. Meter. Yeah. You don't have to activate it. And you take the swipe at <laughs> whatever is closest. Okay, strength. Brawl difficulty for you is one. With 50 dice. Yeah. <laughs> one success. <laughs> I know. Brawl. Okay. Nope, he doesn't have any, any prostitution brawl. Just melee. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Oh, darn. Right, darn. <laughs> Still has like 20 dice up here. Someday. Told you. <laughs> and that's with a zero in Brawl? No, he doesn't have a specialty in Brawl. That's what he. Oh, okay. You bring your huge paw down on the seven disciples charging at you. You do so much damage to them that all seven of them have a massive rip across their face. They let out a weird Wilhelm-like scream as they turn into desiccated <laughs> corpses before you. Not only do you manage to get the seven charging at you, but you even manage to knock out three that were in the vicinity, including the one that was staring weirdly at Isaac. <laughs> I got him for you. Oh, you can't hear me. I mean, where for him? 
It just says, <laughs> rah, 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 rah. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. You know when dogs try to talk, but they're howling? <laughs> <laughs> That's what mine does. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I sound like when I'm drunk. That is not what I thought you were going to say. Go on. You get a game to play. Uh, <laughs> Cedra, back to you. You have uh, uh, two. So do I have two coming towards you with ill intent and malice in her eye? Is this possible for me to do? I would like to cut my palm as I jump down to the lower level. Oh, yeah, totes. At the same time. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you do that. Didn't know if I could First, do both of my turn turn or not. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, do a rouse check for me and do dexterity do and athletics it? at difficulty two. And... So I want to see what. Check. No, I haven't oh, got the time fuck, for that. Fuck, I'm very hungry. <sighs> And dexterity and athletics at difficulty two, please. Actually, make it difficulty three because, you know, as you go. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a perfectly good priest you can eat in there. I can offer you success at cost if you'd like. Okay. Okay. Cedra, gracefully like a swan, jumps and dives off of the second floor ledge, opening her palm with... I can't remember how to pronounce it. Wind? Wishdan. Bless you. How do you pronounce the sword name? <laughs> Wishdan. Later. Wishdan. I don't think I said that right still. Bless you. Um, yeah, okay. Unfortunately... See, you said was, it right. Okay. As unfortunately... As she was too busy concentrating on making sure to not cut too deep, but also to cut deep enough to actually manage to get her Vitae's magical powers imbued on her blade, she loses focus on her landing, falls over flat on her face, and does too superficial damage to herself. Ta-da! Oh, I stand up exactly. I stand up and go. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the common thing when you do a jump and you fall like a cat. Just like, do yeah, it. yeah. Unless you're a mod, you just sit there and go like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you're down there. Yeah, now that I've made another bad decision. The priest oh, is God. going to activate feral weapons. We just go through this with somebody else. They don't work. <laughs> they do if you have melee or I think this is brawl, brawl dice. Mm -hmm. No, it, they're yeah, I think they're melee too. Either way, no, they're brawl. They're brawl. Oh, they brawl. Cheaters yeah, still technically hands. So it's like a light piercing brawl weapon with a plus two modifier. I don't understand this. What? What feral weapons does? Basically, they add a plus two modifier to damage. Yeah. Yeah, they just have claws. Plus two modifier to damage. Okay. Base punching, yeah. and then they add a plus two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The priest. And the just damage. Official damage. The priest opens his arms, and you see the length of his nails elongate, get longer, sharper, more jagged, and he jumps towards you and attempts to claw your face off. How would you like to respond? You, can, I, I could let you Beast punch him back. To block that. Okay, dexterity and athletics, please. Oh. Oh come on, Rob. There you go. Oh, I'm not gonna block that. The priest, not exactly skillfully, but with a look of hate in his eye, brings down his claws upon you, scratching at your face, making you bleed, and does. Five, superficial damage. Halved, we're going to call it to two. Oh. 
Okay, because it's not as bad as I thought. I'm on. Um, so how many guys are left? Six. <laughs> Six, okay. That's more than I expected. Uh, There's still I just, two in um, the landing. That's I, including I the two on the left. I, um, I, I, they're coming down the stairs as prowess, we speak. Because I'm using swords, prowess doesn't technically give me more dice, so I'm just going to do a regular old attack. Okay, strength, melee, difficulty two, please. And we can re-roll die if we want to get more successes. Yarp. Okay. Oh, I'm deaf. Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. I haven't rolled tonight. I re-rolled tonight. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Fine. Oh, sure. You don't tell him how to re-roll. Well, what you do is on your character sheet, underneath willpower, there's a button that says WP re-roll. You, you hit that and input the number of dice you wish to re-roll. Oh, that's what that button does. You take out your swords, plunge yourself straight into combat. And you take out... You take out two of the Setite Disciples as you rush forward, decapitating one and stabbing the other straight through their heart. They shrivel up, turn into desiccated corpses, and fall beneath you. I look at the four that's left and say, who's next? Two left. Oh, there's two? Well, there were six, and I took out there two. Were six. Sorry, yeah, I've written down the wrong fucking thing there, haven't I? I wrote down the Math difference, hard. not the total. Math is hard, especially when I'm tracking three things. <laughs> I know, thank you. I know. Oh no, I'm not complaining at you. I'm complaining at my bad math skills. Uh, Xavier. Cool. I feel like they've got this handled out here. I need to go save this fucking kid. So, <laughs> um, kid. How can I do this? Can I? Can I run then discipline or discipline then run and that be my action? Yeah. So I I don't care what order it is, but basically I want to be able to run to the entrance and then blink in to to be to try to get in between the kid and the priest to make sure the priest doesn't try to just kill the kid out of fucking spite. It's always a good idea to keep priests away from kids. Yes. Yeah. And that's <laughs> Uh, so basically, yeah, I want, essentially want to put myself between me, uh, the kid, and the priest. Put myself between them. And just I, don't turn your back on him, fine. just in case. <laughs> is Blink a rouse check? Pretty uh, sure it is. I, I, yeah, I no. think so. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, Dexterity, athletics, difficulty three, please. I'm re-rolling. Don't worry, kid. I'll save trip. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. I wouldn't. You know, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> not, not with my, one of my tenants. Nope. Xavier disappears in the blink of an eye and in a flash appears suddenly on the ground floor. You can see Cedra and the priest on his right engaged in combat with Cedra's blood spilling out and all over the priest's hand. He looks at the child, walks towards her, and starts to unwrap her. I assume it starts to unwrap her. Yeah, I mean, yeah, or, yeah, or cool. yeah. I mean, try to get I mean, her. You could, I, I didn't, I'm sorry, that was bad of me. You could pick her up. You, whatever you want to. That might however, you would like to her rescue up, but, her. Yeah, I probably would just pick her up and try to get her the fuck out before yeah, cool. I unwrap her. <clears throat> she hasn't got a little bow on or anything, so. Xavier gives no fuck. <laughs> pulling, pulling the bandages and her just doing that spinning thing yeah, like no. in the cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would basically, if she's small enough, I would pick her up and cradle her and then get ready to take her out. Or just have her... I, mean, I don't even think she needs to be that small her. considering your supernatural strength. Yeah. She's wrapped in bandages. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. But um, the point is, I'm holding her like I'm protecting her. Yeah, absolutely. Isaac. 
Um, yes, if uh, if Isaac sees another uh, Sadite, uh, he would move to engage, fisticuff style. Strength, bro. Difficulty two, please. Gotta give him one thing. He's adamant. No, it's Isaac. I I clicked it. I'm just waiting. Do you remember when the pandemic started yeah, and we had to wait me. like 20 minutes for our rolls to go through? Fuck. <laughs> they used to call me Old Iron because I can take a punch. What the call you now, old man? <laughs> We're going to buy Isaac rings so his punch hit harder. <laughs> he's going to put him up. He's going to have these big rings on him. Okay, that's going to be a fail. <laughs> I have, like, Masonic rings. Um, you can technically what, re-roll two. What was the difficulty? Two. I might re-roll two of those. Okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead and burn a willpower. And I can re-roll two. Okie dokie. Okay, Just there you go. Just Unfortunately, as this is an extended keep, task... Keep it at level. What I'll do is... You don't contribute anything to the extended task, but as you did do the successful roll, I won't let you succumb to the beast. Thank you. Yay. Mercy. Uh, does she look like she's in trouble to me, or is she holding on? You can't see her. Um, I can't see her. Unless you've got Superman's X-ray vision, which even werewolves don't have. There you go, I'm really on there, something werewolves sure. don't have. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, okay, if, if, I, if I don't know the Cedar's in trouble, then I have no, no, no choice. I'll just fight back to who's ever around me still. Strength, brawl, difficulty one, please. Just don't hit Isaac. Go ahead and kill the other four. Five if you can, Isaac. <laughs> well, two of them, I think, are still in the ceiling. Or the upper... No, they're... The loft. Oh, they they're were down, they they're running down. down. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's going to wipe out. Six. Mercy charges forth, grabbing two of the Setite dis- disciples as he goes, nonchalantly crushing their skulls in his paws as he walks by. The two remaining Setite disciples run down the bottom of the stairs, look at the werewolf, look at the carnage and destruction and dead bodies all around them, stare open mouthed at him as he just brings his paw down straight across their face, decapitating both of them in one swipe as they fall to the ground, dead. It's like our version of We Have a Hulk, We Have a Werewolf. <laughs> we have a bunch of set eyes. Except yeah. not Cedric, because mercy. she's got to do it all on her own. And that's going to bring us back to... Cedra and the Setite priest. I stab at him with my sword. Strength. Melee. And he's just going to try and dodge, which is not going to go well for him. Apparently it's going to go well for him. <laughs> wow. wow. I can roll three die. Yeah. I mean, he had three dice. He had three dice, and he rolled criticals on all of them. So, never seen that Fuck. happen. That's fine. Okay, that's, that's uh, equal. Yeah. How much damage does uh, Windy Bum do? If it's a sword, I think it's plus three. Uh, adds three. Yes. Is it just three? Even though you've done Bum. the thing. <laughs> yeah, the thing gave me two extra dice to my roll. Oh, okay. Uh, so three. Oh. Isn't it? Yeah, since there's, it would only be three since there's no difference. Cedra stares down at the Sethite priest. Malice, hate, and the beast in her eye. She lunges forward with an attack, landing so many hits that it seems like there's a cacophony of swishing air and blade. Shining is the word. Shining off the moonlight in the night. She managed to successfully swipe at his arms, his body, and then run him through. 
You do two superficial damage and one aggravated damage to him. He stands there, blood dripping out of his eyes and out of his wounds. I think at this point, Eat after sword. this combat, I think it's fair to say you will win this, and it's inevitable. So let's not roll the dice anymore and just say he will become a desiccated corpse, fall to the ground, and die. Oh, that was easier than I thought. Beneath Cedra's feet. And I think that would count as fulfilling your uh, dominance compulsion. You may have a willpower. Okay, I do my thing then. I was, I was going to say I put my boot on top of him and stand. <laughs> you can still totally do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, have a free willpower point. Okay, because I just use one of those. It's a replenish one, right? Mm hmm. I Sarah. saw his head off and mounted to my wall. No, I don't. <laughs> Cut his ears off. We'll collect his ears like they're goblins. <laughs> you stare they're, around. They're my necklace. Looking at the corpses, the death, the destruction, all before you. Mission successful. Mercy shrunk back down to human form. His clothes seemed to more along with his thighs. I'm inside, I walk out. Cedra. I'm inside with you, Cedra. Holding the kid. I'm not outside. Oh, you didn't grab... I thought you grabbed the kid and ran outside. No, because my task was blinking, oh. running, and picking her up. That was it. Oh, he was okay. going to do that on his next turn, but you annihilated oh, okay. things she's before a, that. He's a badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Like sire, like chowder. <laughs> I do the whole lead the way motion to Xavier. I shake my head no. Go I cautiously motion. walk outside. I assume you 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 got what I was picking up with. Or does Xavier yeah. need to say, check on Mercy? Yeah. Okay. No, no, I get that. <laughs> I'm back to being Cedra now. Did you see Mercy in human, human form? Is he naked? No, he, 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 he clothes it more. <gasps> You're an animal. His clothes are probably, co clothes are probably covered in blood, <laughs> but um, yeah, he's not naked. It's a good thing he bought those special pants that shrink and grow. Are they purple? Bruce Banner has some of those. Every week <laughs> you do that show. Now I know how <laughs> online feel. <laughs> oh, you're going to start oh, fucking ready, interrupting though. me now as well. So seeing Mercy in human form and all of the dead bodies around him, I call back to Xavier. It's safe. You can bring her out. I will slowly walk out and I'll say, I'm not undoing her around all this. Mm, good point. Idea. Head out. Take her to the car. I'll say to the girl... You're safe, but we're going to wait till we get you away from this carnage. Did you say? As we're walking, I'll, I'll look to Cedra and say, I don't say anything. I don't want the kid to know what I'm about to say. Um, Did you just as... basically RP? I say nothing. Yeah, well, I was going to. I was going to say something. I wait till we get to the car. Um, Do you want to tilt your I head as well? I see Xavier's looking. Give him a look right back. I point to Amon.
You, you point to a monster Cedra can see, or so I can see. Yeah, him. yeah. If I'm looking at Cedra, I point to you and I kind of do this thing. So if like, no one offers to cut off that kid's head, I'm going to be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> no, cut off a mon's head. <clears throat> While uh, um, everyone's walking back. Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead, Isaac. Uh, Isaac would say to Mercy, uh, Mercy, you are quite terrifying. Mercy looked at uh, Isaac and said, I have a moment. You're not too bad remind yourself. Remind me to never... But what a wink. Thank you. Just remind me to never get on your bad side. I... Probably will at one point, but we'll, we'll see. Hopefully that won't be necessary. I, I certainly hope not. I'm tougher than I look. Indeed. Made of stern stuff. Um, once, because I know that the car was pretty far away from the building that we were just in, and it's nighttime, so once um, it gets dark enough, I'll go over to Xavier and attempt, because I have a feeling he might stop me, but begin kind of unbandaging the kid's head, because... Yeah, I stop you. What? Let's get her in the car first. Okay, I, don't think, I, just... I don't think you need to be the first thing she sees in case it is your daughter. Good point. I'm afraid you won't have the reaction she needs. Okay. Sorry. No, I understand. So I would put her in the car, request that Amon stands outside for the moment, and then ask Cedra to help me undo her. Leaving everyone else outside, I'll climb in the car, shut the door behind me, and start helping Xavier unwrap her. Yeah. Mercy's covered in blood, so he's hanging out with a mine. Yeah, we're Child. Like locked at the car. Child just sort of looks around, looks at you, probably covered in blood, and then passes out. Is it a mon's kid? Oh, good. No. Nope. Didn't think it would be. So I open yeah. the door. So I was I was gonna say to Xavier, is that her? Shit. Yeah, but what do we do with her? Now? What do we do with her? We take her to the police station. Okay. I have I have a contact. We can maybe have him come pick her up. I open the door. Sorry, I'm on, it's not your child your kid. I mean, I already had a feeling it wouldn't be, but whoever's going to understand what I was coming from, though, right? Yeah, no, I I get it. Cedra will oh, get out God. when he opens the door and get into the passenger seat. Once, once Mercy sees you out outside the car, he asks, "How is the kid?" Asleep. Fine. The kind of. Holy fuck, what did I just go through sleep? Not a mons. I don't care. Irrelevant. We still need to make sure she gets home safe. So I can contact Steve and see if he'll come pick her up at the bar. Well, I mean, I could contact my, my contact. Cause he was the one that let me know about it in the first place. It might be his case. Yeah, and just how are we going to, is he going to question how, how he got this kid? That's a good point. I would assume that he'd be so happy to, if it's his, his kid, he'd be so happy to get a child back that he wouldn't care, but if it's not, he might it's question. It's not his kid, it's his case. Case, okay. Just be prepared to try to justify why you've got a missing child. Half of us are covered in blood. Don't worry, we got the kid back. Passed out. It's fine. We absolutely no, can be like Dolores babysit. 
Oh God, do we want Dolores babysitting? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so th- here's this stuff called whiskey. It tastes delicious. No, no, no. What was the? Uh... <laughs> No, don't drink, don't clean with it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is a great cleaner. <laughs> I assume we take her back to the our coterie okay. haven, though. Like I figure that's the safest place for for us to be able to protect her. And if you would all you like don't, to, would you like to have this discussion on the drive there? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I call shotgun. Nope. That cedar already Cedar's already in. Yep. <laughs> it's the only time Cedar's ever ridden shotgun. I get in the middle in the back seat then. With your feet on the hump? Nah. That's I picture back. That. I get that reference. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to discuss on your journey back to the Coterie Haven? Yeah, Amon, are you calling your contacts so they can meet us there? Yeah, I can do that. Um, fuck it, I'll call him in the car <laughs> while I'm driving. Yes. How? With my phone. Okay, Google. What phone? Oh, wait, you don't have a smartphone. Oh, yeah, I have like a, this is from Wikipedia. A... <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I did specify that I got a flip phone, but if you want me to, oh, did you use Blush of Life? No, 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 that's fine. I thought you life. got. I the thought you destroyed buttons. your phone. I did, but I got a, new, I got a new and one. And they got a flip phone. You had Just, a smartphone. Okay. You got a flip. That's phone. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. He does he does have to dial while driving though, so that might be difficult. No, he's one of my contacts. It's, it's, it's only three dial. numbers, nine nine nine. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Good. Hoping maybe we'd get a amazing car acting or something. Who knows? Oh go on then. <laughs> Fuck it. We've done that already. We've done that Dex- already. Dexterity oh, right. and drive, Armon. Okay. Difficulty no, no. <laughs> Difficulty oh, three. He's good at these two things. Though. Difficulty <laughs> three. I am good at these things, but say that. Three you say me. that. Can we help by going no left, left, right? Yes. No right. man, I'm good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, He's gonna good. hit a parked car. <laughs> Scrape across he the He swerves into the car. middle, but there's no other traffic. <laughs> Take That's exactly mailbox. what I was about to say, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you call Steve. He picks up the phone. It's like, no, he's calling his guy. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you call up Daniel. It's like, it's better be important. You shouldn't be calling me at work. Yeah, that kid that you told me about where someone uh, saw somebody kidnap him or whatever. Yeah. Um, We found her and we're bringing her back to uh, a safe place so you can come pick her up. Where is the safe place? Uh, I give the address of the bar. You know, it's illegal to have someone under 18 in a bar, right? I'm pulling your leg, it's fine. She'll be downstairs in an office. There's nobody downstairs, so... Right. How long until she'll be there? Um... I make the guesstimate and tell him. Good work. And he hangs up. All right, see you there. Mm-hmm. So, right, anything you wish to discuss on the way? Oh no, I'll be quiet. Sorry. Sorry. That was me. Sorry. He's gonna meet us there. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't your kid. Yeah. Too bad it's a kid. Yeah, we got bigger issues. Uh, don't worry. What, don't Isaac? worry, Amon. I'm sure. I'm sure one day we will find your child, and I hope by that 
Also, remember who your child is. It would be a shame for you to find your child and never remember who she is. Yeah. But we can be hopeful. Somewhere out there beneath the pale moonlight. <laughs> Shiver froze with that face on it. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> the coterie car no the car yeah the coterie car carries on singing once Cartery. more as they park up the car outside their domain oh maybe that could be our name yeah the singing coterie the carterie tell you what no, Lors, the Lors's, Lors's apartment is fucking nice great still can't even fucking remember our names it's endearing. It is, yeah. To us, not to our characters, though. Uh, you get out of the car, how sling the child over your shoulder, walk through the bar, no. and into the office. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet up with you guys in a minute. Cedra goes up to the bar. Hey, Dolores. Can I talk to you for a minute? Always, Cedra, of course. Is there still the old office upstairs? Is there any private space? No, it was already done. You'd probably take her up to her room. Done. Okay. I lead her up to her apartment. Okay. For what it's worth, I didn't need $40 to make the earth shake. Because it just <laughs> did it for free. <laughs> This is where we're going with the Cedars at Four Hunger. Ah. Okay. So we go up to our apartment. You notice as you walk you around, there are a few empty Froger things. Containers. First two container. containers. Dolores. I promised you something once that I have yet to make good on. And I push her hair back away from her neck, hold my hand against her and say, may I? Please, of course. And do your predator roll. Difficulty two. Everybody's shit like that's out here. Kill our bartender. <laughs> God, I hope not. That's the critical. Oh. <laughs> no killing the bartender. Okay. You may take uh, two hunger. Thank you. And you will gain the sanguine resonance. Ooh. This will improve uh, blood sorcery and presence. Oh, no, it's, it's for the remainder of the game. Oh. That's not much. After I drink from her, I say, thank you. And thank I kiss you. her briefly. How does that work? <laughs> All right, everybody watch. Totally is, usable. Is Shiver going to pass out? <laughs> Wank myself into a stupor <laughs> later. Kiss her very sweetly and politely, but on the lips and without tongue. She's the opposite like, of what a mom oh. does to doors. <laughs> you know, if you ever ever want to do this again, please just always. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. I suppose I need to go back to work. You're doing a good job. So are you. <laughs> Don't roll your eyes. That's exactly what Dolores would say. Because <laughs> you're her. The seizure will bypass the bar and just go ahead and go down to the office downstairs. That's true. She's eating a lot of cursed froger. Do I need to worry about that? 
No, it's fine. It's just making yeah, people. Is seizure lactose intolerant? <laughs> people intolerant. Uh, as you go into the bar, uh, the office, sorry, downstairs, you will notice that there is a note from Dolores. Hmm. Is it a says, resignation letter? <laughs> Better not be. It says, if I can remember, which I don't. It says that Sandra Green called while you were out. Ooh, mm. we need to talk to her. We need to tell her what happened. So as I walk into the Ooh, office, I, I say, uh, Pandora called, and we probably should tell her what happened tonight. There's the phone. Hey, real quick, though. Um, now that you seem to be back to normal, Cedra, um, I also might want to mention that the person you thought was there and had me look after to get out, I think they did to you what they did to Xavier last time we ran into him. Oh, they let me get it away. Would I know this? I think Xavier, well, Xavier told you about what happened last time. Mm-hmm. It's so I would realize that. Oh, I think he just said no. It wouldn't happen like that. He didn't say. He didn't tell you, did he? Uh huh. Yeah, he told us. I th- oh, okay. I then, said yeah. something because I said it um, well privately to Pandora. I then, him, but yeah, you would find it. You would still find it difficult to believe because, as far as you're aware, it sounded, it looked like, exactly the same. And Xavier's just told me to call Pandora myself. So there's a phone. I got a kid. (laughs) So I go into the office. I do not call Pandora. I call Fani. Okay. In order to not spoil the surprise, we'll say that whatever... If you want to give us a summary of what it is you would like to tell her... I'm just checking to make sure she's okay. You'll, You'll get... An affirming response. Okay. Sorry to wake you up so late. I just got a name. And then after I hang up with her, I call Pandora. The call is answered by the man behind the bar. Pandora. Please hold. And you can hear the liveliness of Elysium behind you. A few moments later, a call is picked up by Pandora. Yes? Good evening, darling. It's Cedra. Oh, Cedra. What a ray of moonlight you are in the night. It's been so dull here tonight. It has been a exciting night for us. Oh, do tell. We encountered a cult of what appeared to be 20 Sedites and a priest sacrificing a young girl. That does sound exciting. What did you do? Killed them. Excellent. All 20? Well, well, about 24, but one got away. Unfortunate, but that is extremely good turnout. Any idea what they were trying to do? Yes, she told you. It looked like they were going to sacrifice a young girl. They had her all wrapped up like a mummy. In fact, she's in our office. Well... Is she mortal? Yes. As far as I know. Is she aware of what happened? Did she see anything? Not sure yet. She passed out as soon as we unwrapped her. If you're able, find out if she saw anything. She could be a living masquerade breach. And if she did, you need to dispose of her. Good point. 
Whereabouts was the encounter with the Setites? Uh, it was at Godstow Alley. Abbey. 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 Because I can't no, read my I'm, own writing. No, I'm Pandora. I don't know an Abbey. Just to make sure, Mercy's only hears the, the phone call from, from Cedra's side, or she's hearing Pandora also. Is it on speaker? No, it's not on speaker. No, because it's a rotary phone. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Probably. It's not rotary. <laughs> Jesus, this isn't 40 years ago. I'm <laughs> I'm making fun of it how old Cedra is. Oh. I mean, the one that it's Pandora's probably It's 90s, is it would be a whole phone on the door with one of those long cords that'll reach from the kitchen all the way through the living room to the bathroom. <laughs> it's all it's all tangled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Isaac would be fine with the road we found. Did <laughs> you... What kind of state did you leave the place in? It needs some cleanup. Hmm. This is outside of the city. But we'll be able to send it someone is. in to clean it up. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, one more thing before I forget. Are you aware of what the red list is? Would I be? I think we've talked about it in game before. It's the list that's handed down okay. from the uh, the tower if they want somebody killed. It's the FBI's ten most wanted, basically, for the Camarilla. So, I mean, if you think I would, yeah, then yes. There's a rumour going around that an Alistair might be looking into a lead on one of the list members here in Oxford. I thought I might let you know, as I've only just heard of this. As I say, it is just a rumour, but we'll see what happens. Which person on the list? I'm afraid I'm not sure. Alistairs tend to keep themselves a little bit secretive in their work, for obvious reasons, of course. If there's any way we can assist, let us know. I'm sure there will be, and I shall. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely night. Look after yourself, Cedra. You too? Just right. Yeah, Pandora's like at the end. So if you want to come round and scissor later, just let me know. Just friends. Probably. Just as friends. What's a bit of scissoring between <laughs> yeah, friends? Like friends do. <laughs> Scissor sisters. Ah! Um, I assume Xavier's got the kid laying down on, like, one of the couches or whatever that we have in the office. In the downstairs. Um, yeah. Unwrap, um, like, on Christmas morning? It's a kid. <laughs> um. It's wrapped Amon up in bandages. Amon would go out to the bar and figure out if you can get a cup of, like, water. To take into her. No, we would. The kid cl with cream. The, the downstairs the bar, there's underneath. a bar, but not used. That's where I'm at. She was in the office. Oh, okay. You, can you walk are in behind the, the bar and get water if you want, but I don't. I don't know if she's awake. Yeah. Fuck off, Xavier. I can't hear that. <laughs> He's in the soundproof right. room. He's in the soundproof room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Someone good left the door open. Is the kid still wrapped in money as she wearing clothes or she doesn't have anything underneath, uh, wearing school clothes underneath? She, her? we are going to assume that she is fully dressed underneath the bandages. We are not. Please. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Thank you. Christ. We were way out limits. <laughs> that wasn't even, I, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, I don't know what those said that I went into. Even we have limits. <laughs> I mean, I know she we said we're going to offend everyone, extra... but... Yeah, not she ourselves. She have extra clothes on under the bandages, like a hoodie or something. Yeah, she's going to be really warm. Okay. I was going to cover her up, that's all. 
Tr trust me, if everybody in this coterie, if somebody's going to worry about the kid being okay, it's weirdly Xavier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not Cedra. Not and slightly Cedra. Amon. Not Cedra. Slightly Amon, because, yeah. <laughs> Not Amon's kid. Cedra doesn't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, it. Yeah, for, for Mercy, it's super odd because as much as you know about Xavier and how much he's an asshole, when it comes to the kid, he's super protective of it. Doesn't matter if it's his or somebody else's. And you don't know why. Right, sorry about yeah. that. That's why he That's refers to a know. child as an it. Yeah, well, 2020, she might self-identify as a fucking attack, attack helicopter, I can't assume. <laughs> Um, I go in and uh, I take the cup of water Hurry. and I, I just uh, sit it on a coffee table that's like near the couch, uh, close to the girl, and I just sit in one of the chairs nearby. She looks just at you and she is really confused, probably very dehydrated, and you're sort of, are you my mummy? I get that reference. No. Oh god, PTSD. <laughs> I the the usual Oman thing, I will pull the hood down to to seem less scary than the guy in the mask. She kinda just pokes your mask. Ding, oh, ding, right. ding. Come on, drink up, you've been through a lot. Who are you? Where am I? What happened? Do you not know what happened? No, I couldn't see for most of it. Okay. Well, you oh, had some very good. scary people. You had some very scary people take you, and we got you out. And Careful a nice policeman. It. Yeah, the nice policeman that's been trying to find you is going to show up shortly and take you home. I didn't let them take me. Are you victim blaming? <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> Who rudely you took you? So I was taken by complete strangers off the street, and now I'm in some place <coughs> with more strangers. A bar. With complete strangers. Oh, a bar yeah. with strangers. Well, that makes it better then. Nothing bad's ever happened with bar and strangers. Like I said, especially nice preteen girls. A nice policeman's going to show up soon and take you home. I've How do I know he's a policeman? I have a badge he can show you. He's working too, so he might be in uniform. I hold my phone out. Do you want to call the police? Want. No, no, you can stay here if you want. I just want to go to sleep. Maybe oh, Hamburger man. Emperor. You can, you can take a nap here if you want it, but drink some water though. Okay. Why do I feel so dizzy? You're dehydrated. Could you do wits? Would you put oh, awareness shit. or medicine? I mean, strictly me? speaking, it should be medicine. For me? Mm-hmm. Are you asking? Um, I would much rather have wits. Oh, I mean, it's going to be wits, but wits and that awareness or wits and medicine. Oh, well, awareness. Sorry, awareness. Okay, wits and awareness. Let's make that difficulty three, please. I got a big fat zero in medicine. Don't we all? Yeah, it's a, a weird. For that. I, I have to say, as an aside for VTM, it's very weird to have medicine on vampire sheets because they're only I'm useful gonna... for healing mortals. I'm. I'm the doctor has it though. I'm gonna have so to get really lucky, months. but I'm gonna reroll two. All right. Two of those. Fucking hell. Oh fuck! What's oh, your hunger level? Are you in the lounge area? I'm in the office. Yeah, he's next to me with the girl. What's your hunger? It has to be the laundry area because she's laying on the couch. What's my yeah. hunger at? Yes. Uh, I think it's only at two. 
It is only at two. I mean, he just rolled 200 dice. Okay. You're going to suffer from the harm compulsion, then. You perform all actions not immediately resulting in someone or something getting harmed. Add a two dice penalty to your pool. This compulsion ends when you incapacitate, destroy, or drive away a target. You're going to be suffering from the harm compulsion because you are pissed off that a child was abducted and that it wasn't even your child after all this. That's fair. Do Just I because I didn't make like, you suffer from I... the hunger one. Yeah. That's what I, I was know. waiting for, was I'm about to eat this kid. Um, no, you me too. I mean, yeah, Xavier would have stopped me, but... He would have killed. Um, yeah, <laughs> we got mercy here, I, too. I immediately... Um, I look at Xavier, and I go, I have to be right back. And I go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Into the pot of people! Awesome idea! Mm -hmm. All right. Avant's learning. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing upstairs, Armand? I, I hate to steal the idea, but I'm looking for the group that's causing some riffraff. <laughs> okay. Wits, awareness. No, wits and streetwise. At difficulty two, with a two dice penalty. Streetwise. Uh, wits, that's what she said. Mm hmm. Uh, minus two. Oh. Yep, that's fine. Right, you get, find, mm -hmm. you successfully find a group of ne'er do wells. Um. What? Uh, what was the hey, compulsion what, again? Is it like soup? Like, like was it how? How? How arm, much do I have to hurt arm, somebody? Arm. You make them break a nail. When you incapacitate, destroy, or drive them away. Okay. Um, you said that they were... What, what were they doing in the bar? They now do well. So they're just being rowdy, rambunctious, annoying as fuck. Ultimately harmless, but just annoying as fuck. Crap boys. Hmm. I go up to him and I'm like, hey, why are you making so much noise in my bar? The fuck do you care? We've paid for our drinks. We can do whatever the fuck we yeah. want. We're not even wearing masks! We have a sign on our door. Um. They're saying they don't wear masks because Armand wears a mask, by the way. Yeah, no, yeah. We don't need your kind uh, causing too much trouble in our establishment. Now get out. Well, we don't take too kindly to your sort being told to tell to, to, uh, to, uh, being told to get out. I slap one of their drinks into their lap. What the fuck do you think you're doing? We fucking paid for that. You need, you owe us a drink. Now somebody's no, gonna I don't. clean that up. Get out, of, get out of my bar before I force you out. And one of them's going to come straight up to you and try and punch you. Oh, boy. I'm going to punch back. <laughs> I should really have the template ready. Okay. Oop, nope, that's not the right button. Strength and Brawl contest. Yeah, I almost did the Strength and uh, Stealth by accident. Do I get negative to this? Yeah. No, because it's oh, wait. someone. No, Hang on. Yeah, it's because yeah. Yeah, that no two no penalty. For fuck's sake, man! We're rolling three of those. Oh yeah, oh yeah, are you? Are you? Well, in that case, I'm going to re-roll three as well. Oh, because I can do that. As the person approaches Come on, get you, slapped around like some pansy as kind. He punches you square in the face as you attempt to punch him back. Unfortunately, he punches you a little bit too hard and dazed, and makes you dazed. He does one superficial damage to you. 
Um, now I'm going to throw out what I want to do, and then you're probably going to want me to do it in a particular order. Uh, I want to pick him up by his jacket and try and throw him. Not like super far, but just like, like a get out of my bar type of... Like Terminator throw. Yeah. Strength and strength. Um, and I know I should have prefaced with this. Can I activate prowess first? No, I don't think you can when you're under the okay. influence of the beast. Okay, that's fair. Although, Isaac, do you know better? Because I'm not sure that's a good question. Um, I know when he's frenzying, he can't. That's what I'm I thinking of. Beast. So, yeah, I think he can do it. You're right. Okay. I am thinking of you. Are, I'm thinking of frenzy. So yeah, you can do that. And prowess is a rouse check. I'll throw. Um, and this is a feat of strength. Absolutely. So. And okay, so. So you can add your full potent straighting. Three. Yeah. So strength and strength. Freaks you attempt to man. grab hold. Oh, you can reroll two if you'd like. Yeah, why That's not? That's not going to help you much, though. Well, it's, unless you get, it's that plus unless you get three. criticals. He adds his... It's plus three as well. Yeah. Plus three successes cool. from prowess. He adds his but it's three. still only a five. So re-roll two. Well, you two. can re-roll two and possibly get one. Yeah. I fucking throw that kid. <laughs> you pick him up by the collar of his jacket and you throw him across the bar. While yelling, I told you to get out. And he's going to stand up and look at you as if he's, you know... Not only has he never been thrown before or had someone stand up to him, but he's never been thrown across the entire bar before. He looks at you, he looks at his friends, and he legs it. His friends kind of just look at you awkwardly. We'll just go. We'll just go. It's fine. We didn't want any trouble. I crack my neck and walk back downstairs. <laughs> and you may have a willpower point. Well done. While downstairs in the office, I tend to my wounds. Okay. Do a rouse check for me, please. Do you lick them like a cat? Wonderful. You may heal too. Not a gangrel. Uh, Xavier, do you know why uh, Amon just stormed off like that? It's broody. He's always broody. I could, I'd be, yeah, I could take a guess. You want a gen generic answer? Ge I sound drunk. You want a generic answer? Bruja. Oh, I see. That does seem Brudy like a Bruja yeah. thing. You're right. I know. You probably, you probably hear like the commotion upstairs of like glass breaking and the thud of the kid being thrown. <gasps> And then you come back downstairs all happy. And I come back. <laughs> Isaac looks up. I hope he's not scaring away the customers. No, he probably is. <laughs> that is if he stayed here, but probably is. That's why you go to another bar to do this. I don't know if Shiver's frozen or if he's... Okay, he's moving. <laughs> so when you come back down, feel better? Yep, and I'm just like dusting my hands off. Swear to God, lately you all have been the fucking moody winds and I haven't. What the fuck is going on? Is there reason you stormed out, Amon? You seemed quite uh, pissed off. I understand this is a Booja thing. Yeah, I started getting the, uh, the, uh, the old, you know, guy we hate 
talking to me. I see. I'm just, I'm just glad it wasn't me who said it this time. <laughs> I mean, Isaac, you should probably know about this too. You know those times you get all fucking weird wanting to know about somebody's infection or something? We just do it differently. Well, I I mean, like we need to play and somebody. Amon, Amon uh, goes Xavier and he puts a finger up like shush and points at the kid. She's asleep. <clears throat> I don't think she is. Yeah, yeah, she'll be asleep by now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the, e she's in a very deep sleep that even the th thud of some twat hitting the floor wouldn't have woken her up. Maybe she takes out his smartphone and then looked at, about to use it, but then he puts it back, puts it back and says, I was about to order some food for her, but she probably won't be here by the time it arrives. Plus, I don't know if she eats what, what, what I would want to order. Pedigree chum. Any last minute? Oh, sorry, Cedric, go on. Oh, I just said I get it. Oh, okay. Mm. Anyone got any last Maybe minute things they wish to discuss, or would you like to retire? We do the handoff to the police with the kid. Yeah. Here you go. Have a kid. Not our problem. I mean, the police, the police officer will arrive in due course. So, any discussions? Hey, or make shall sure we get something to eat. I'll give her something to eat. It's a good time to wrap it up. Okay. Well, then we'll call it in here. Uh, it's funny you bring that up, Zethar. I recently purchased Demon the Fallen. Yeah, uh, there's also a... a good use. There's also a... The demon. I wonder what you'll do now. There's also a VR game no. coming up that's Wraith in the V5 universe, in yeah. fact. Weird, weird trailer for it, but it looks really good. So, thank you all for coming. We'll do a raid on Lost Tribes Gaming. They're currently playing VTM Yay. as well. Yay! Nice. Yay! Thank you for coming. We'll see you the 